Ticket presents College Football 88. Brought to you by Strohs and Strohlite. Now you're talking good times and Strohs is spoken here by your local Volkswagen dealer where you can experience German engineering the Volkswagen way. By Great Western's family of companies with over $30 billion in assets. 100 years strong, we'll always be there. And by Carl's Junior Restaurants with many convenient locations to serve you. The choice is yours. Again, everybody, welcome to our coverage of Rainbow Football. I'm Jim Leahy, along with Rick Blanjotti. And tonight, Rick, the Rainbows go up against the Air Force Academy, a team that in the seven meetings, the Rainbows have only been able to win two. And this is an important game. It is the final season game for Air Force. They would like not to have a losing season. And for the Rainbows, they would like to have a winning season in the conference. A win tonight, they would be five and three in the conference, eight and three for the whole season. But the Rainbows are facing a very potent wishbone attack. It's a potent wishbone attack, Jim, but in order to make it work and to have a big night for the Air Force Academy, they're going to have to beat Hawaii at its very strength. That is, they're going to have to run the fullback tough up inside where Hawaii has played traditionally very strong and force the game to the outside. One thing about D. Dallas, not only does he run, he also passes when pressed. He passed for 114 yards last year against the Rainbows, two touchdowns, and that was tantamount to getting them into position for that final field goal by Yarborough with eight seconds left, 34-31 Air Force. Could we see the same kind of game tonight? I think we very, we, we, yeah, we'll we get it out right tonight. We may very well. I think that the passing game from Dallas, which has been suspect the last several weeks, will probably come to the forefront in this, this season finale because I think the Bulls are going to be strong enough to handle the offensive line and to handle the running game. The passing game remains the big question mark as far as the Air Force's ability to, to score against Hawaii. Rainbows very high ranked against the rush. Air Force not that well against the rush. Oh, we could have a lot of points tonight. It could be a big night for Hey Cody Fakava. It should be a big night for Hey Cody Fakava. In fact, I suspect that Hawaii on offense tonight should really explode. This defense for the Air Force Academy has been much maligned, but rightfully so. They've been played with injuries, and even psychologically, this is not the same prideful unit that Fisher DeBerry has fielded all the time. They've been had, they've had a lot of points scored against them, and Hawaii should be good enough to do the same. But you know, as they say, as long as you have D. Dallas at quarterback, Air Force has a chance. When we come back, we'll have the opening kickoff of what should prove to be a very interesting game. We used to sell a Volkswagen for people with more sense than money. We still do. Before you buy a car, test drive a Volkswagen Fox at your local Volkswagen dealer. I'll get it, Alex. Mel's Market. Here's your order. What order? Side of beef. I didn't know. Here's your side. delivery, sir. What delivery? Your Stroh's 30 packs. Stroh's. Alex? Nah. Stroh's and Stroh Light, fire-brewed for smooth, consistent taste. And with 30 packs, you get more beer. Pardon, Pierre's Pet Shop, here's your poodle. Oh, Alex. Welcome back, everybody. Series record, Air Force leads 5 to 2. In WAC play, the Air Force leads 4 and 2. In Honolulu, the two teams tied each winning two apiece in the last meeting last year, November 21st, and that was the field goal. Air Force finally winning at 34-31, a very spirited effort by the Rainbows in that game. But Air Force on the 26-yard field goal by Steve Yarborough, with eight seconds remaining, wins it for the Air Force Academy. The Rainbows have really been frustrated against Air Force in the last couple of years. The Rainbows tonight hope to reverse that. Air Force has won the toss, and they will receive. No such thing as deferring to the second half. Warren Jones will be the quarterback tonight, of course, for the 
Rainbows and Jones now closing in on some marks. Need 62 yards rushing to set the career rushing mark among quarterbacks. And there are other things, especially in the passing department for uh, Warren Jones. Yeah, he needs 111 yards, Jim, to set the season mark held right now by Greg Tipton in the total offense of 2,548. So with 111 yards tonight, Warren Jones will become the all-time leading quarterback in the, on the season. And he needs one touchdown pass to tie Larry Arnold for a consecutive game touchdown passes. Jones has eight, Arnold and, had nine. And it's probably good that we're talking about Jones just briefly because we talked about Fakava just a few moments ago as we look at D. Dallas. Really, Warren Jones tonight really due for a big game. I think it's been two months since we've seen him put together a consistent big game, and that was up at Salt Lake City against the University of Utah. So he is overdue for a great game from himself, I think, quite frankly. Fisher DeBerry, head coach of the Air Force, 40 and 20 is uh, his record. And there you see Bob Wagner in his second year. Wagner is 12 and 10. In the WAC, however, he is 7 and 8. Fisher DeBerry in WAC flight 26 and 11. And what is interesting about Fisher DeBerry, he has yet to lose to the Rainbows. He is 4 and 0 against Hawaii. And uh, Wagner is 0 and 1 as you take a look at D. Dallas. And Dallas is an outstanding quarterback. Last year, he had 1,315 rushing yards to set the all-time NCAA record for quarterbacks. This year, he has 939, 12 touchdowns, and he has been in some very high-scoring games. Well, where he really has it is right there between the ears. <laughs> He's just a smart young man. I mean, you know, physically, when you watch him, he's not hes not all that big a guy. In fact, we saw him in his T-shirt, not even all that muscular. But, boy, he just has the head to lead this offense. Very smart and just makes the right decisions almost all of the time. Jason Elam will kick off for the Rainbows. Anthony Roberson is deep, number 20, along with number 14, Bobby Thomas. Roberson a senior out of Colorado Springs, and Thomas, a freshman out of Colorado Springs. And the Rainbow's about ready to kick off to Air Force. Elam, waiting for referee Tom Robinson to give him the okay. And we are underway, away against Air Force. It will go to Roberson deep in the corner, takes it on the goal line. 25-yard line and pulled down from behind by Joaquin Barnett. Do we have Penalty a flag? Play. Yes, we do have a flag. Well, you could see the speed of Roberson that time, taking that kickoff in the deep corner right on the goal line and all of a sudden sprinting up the field, clipping against the Air Force. So that will negate a fine return by Anthony Roberson. It's an all-senior backfield now, led by that man, the junior quarterback, but all-senior backfield for the Air Force Academy. You mentioned Roberson. We're going to see Smith and Brooker. And uh, they're all seniors, Jim. And so this is their, their final game, obviously. There, there is no bowl game this year for the Air Force Academy. So we have every reason to expect a very spirited effort from this offensive unit for the Air Force. Dallas, Booker, Craig Johnson, number 40, Andy Smith, and Anthony Roberson, all over 1,000 yards in their career. You can see the really prolific wishbone that Air Force runs. And we see the wishbone on first down from their own eight yard line because of the clipping penalty. Dallas, straight up the middle, handing the ball off. And a short game out close to the nine yard line, if that, Andy Smith. D. Dallas, Albert Booker, Anthony Robertson, Andy Smith, and that wishbone right receiver, Steven Sen. And there you see the offensive line, Payne, Payne Bell, Palatke, Hollister, Johnson, and the tight end, Mark Crossman. Jim, we have an injured Hawaii player down. He's being tended to by the trainers. We look at Dallas. Notice for openers in the, in the first play from scrimmage, it remains to be seen, but the bow is playing a different defensive look against this wishbone offense. There was no nose guard. They were playing with two down linemen over the offensive guards, and the other people were spread out. Kind of a different look, different front than we've seen the bows put up before. Joe Sayamalo is down for the Rainbows. Sayamalo, number 55. He is the senior. It appears they're working on his left ankle. He is just such a key to that defensive front. We opened up earlier talking about the fact that uh, if the Air Force is going to be successful, they have to be successful running at Hawaii's strength, and there you see it on that graphic. The defensive line, Dana Directo, Jose Omalo, and Augie Apelu. Linebackers, Mark Odom and David Maeva. Maeva, the leading tackler on the Rainbows. He's on the inside. Brian Belcher and Gavin Robertson on the outside. And then the secondary, Colson, McLeod, Tressler, and Briggs. 
Well, good sign. Sam Wilder's up limping a little bit, but uh, if I had a bet on someone to come back into the ball game, be that man right there, 55, big Joe Sam Wilder. He's had a great year this year, I think, anyway. So Air Force, second down and 10, no gain on that carry by the fullback, Andy Smith. So the Air Force out of the huddle in that wishbone Smith, number 35, the halfbacks on the left, Roberson, and on the right, Booker, Albert Booker. Second and 10 from the eight yard line. This is Roberson. Roberson is hit by Gavin Robertson. David Maeva then came over to make sure. Maeva really gave him a pop. Short game on the play again. Good quickness by Hawaii's defense reacting to the play. A little misdirection. Looked like they were going to go back against the flow. Hawaii would have none of it as they just played off the blocks and collapsed on the ball carrier. Steve Sen goes in at wide receiver for the Air Force. Sen comes out to the near side. Third down and seven. The ball at the 11-yard line and again the wishbone. Dowitz keeping, looking. And the ball comes out of there. Dowitz will claim that that is a pass, and the referee, Tom Robinson, agrees. But what great pressure by New Wano Kaudlia just good the Rainbow. Just good defense all the way around. Bows against a passing situation with third and seven. Had that snuffed out, and once again, the Bows with that different front. They may have just confused Air Force in the opening series with a dif different defensive look. Chris Blasey in the two kick, you see 40.5. Well, he's gotten off a 77 yarder. Hunting from his own two yard line, a wobbler. Briggs will let it bounce on the 44 yard line of the Air Force, and it goes out of bounds at the 45. Excellent field position for the Rainbow. Great way to open up the ball game. I mean, the defense comes out in free play, stuffs him, looks very strong, very quick. A lot of spirit. They force the punt. He gets off only a 34 yard punt, and the Bows take the field in the Air Force part of it. Great way to start. Well, you see the passing statistics for Warren Jones, 1,811 yards, 14 touchdowns. He has been intercepted 10 times, and the Rainbows come out in the double slot or the spread offense. Roscoe and Larry Conn Smith are the wide receivers. And Cody Fakaba, the single setback in motion, is Junior Lopati. This is Fakaba. From the 45 to the 43, gain of two. Bill Price out of Galleon, Ohio, there to make the stop. Backs and receivers for the Rainbows, Jones and Fakaba. And then the slot backs, Lopati and Mahuka. The wide receivers, Larry Conn Smith and Chris Roscoe. The offensive line, Amosa Amosa. Larry Jones, Mark Nua, the big guy, Theo Adams, and uh, tonight, Sean Robinson. Second down, the ball just short of the 42. Second and seven for the Rainbows. 13-01 left to play first quarter. Kept by Jones, trying to get around the corner. And a good job that time by Mark Lyons out of Indianapolis, Indiana. And we have a penalty flag thrown in the Rainbow backfield. Real quick, real quick flag. Usually it's gonna be some kind of motion penalty. They're, they're an illegal shift. <clears throat> Take a look now at the Air Force. Pat McNellis is back at nose guard. He is returning. He may not be 100%. Tom Kafka and Kenny Gibadlo. That's the uh, down three. And then the four linebackers, Brian Hill, Terry Walker, the transfer from Missouri, Mark Lyons, and Randall Gladney. And Gladney, of course, the big star at linebacker. Toth, Kilmer, Hecker, and Mathis in the defensive secondary. Now, that play, the one thing that's encouraging Jim in the first two plays is Hawaii's offensive line, if you look at the play now on the snap of the ball, has an excellent surge here coming off the ball in the last couple of plays. Third down and six, penalty to climb by Air Force. Jones to throw. Coming back for the ball and not being able to handle it is Roscoe at the 28-yard line. Boy, did Jones have time. Wow, that's the point precisely. On the two running plays, the offensive line grew very strong, and that time there was no bit of pressure at all put on Warren as the offensive line completely walled off for him. That is a good sign for things to come. Ron Gray and Bobby Thomas back on fourth down for Air Force, and Kyle Alou, 41.3 yard average. Ready to punt for uh, the Rainbows here in the first quarter, 12.35 left. Alou angling it, coming down, and that ball will be at the two. Gavin Robertson gathers it in, and that's going to be inside the one. That's the punt of the year for Kyle Alou. 
Well, it's the punt of the year because it's a 41-yard punt and fielded just beautifully down inside the one. Uh, you couldn't place it any better than that inside the one. I mean, it's splitting the distance to the goal line from the one-yard goal line. I mean, golfers don't have shots like that. So a marvelous punt, a magnificent punt by Kyle Alou. He puts the ball down inside the one-yard line, and Air Force starting about as deep as you can. Second possession. They come out in the wisp mode. Smith. Smith is ridden to the turf as he's able to wedge it out. Mark Odom there to hit him, along with David Maeva. Odom out of Long Beach, California. He's a sophomore. Good gain of five yards, second down and five for Air Force. Robert Krause goes in at wide receiver. Krause is to the far side. And again, the wishbone, second down and five. The ball just over the five yard line at the six. And wedging the ball out over the 10 for the first down is Andy Smith, again, the fullback. So the Air Force taking advantage of that hole in that uh, defensive line. Uh, the Rainbows do not have a man up over the center and Smith able to wedge out for the first down. Well, that's obviously the adjustment they've made. And that's one of the things that obviously Rich Ellison as well is hoping his defensive line will be able to do and that is collapse down. We'll see who wins this battle based on alignment. Greg Cochran out to the far side. Mark Crossman to the near side. Wishbone. Ball is again given up the middle and again it's Smith. So I think and he's able to get out over the 15 yard line. I think part of the strategy, Jim, and I can't think it to the coach's head, is to try to bait them into trying to run it up inside like that with that wide split and counting on the quickness of your two inside linebackers and two defensive tackles to close it down. And if they can do it from that alignment, then that really gives them the help on the peripheral, or the perimeter rather, and forcing the game to the outside. That should, if the Bulls can stop it inside, work very well strategically for Hawaii. Greg Johnson now has gone in at halfback in the wishbone. Dallas on second down. The ball just over the 15. Again, it's Smith. And Smith, this time, it's ankle tackle as he steps into the secondary. Gavin Robertson able to come in and close it down for the Rainbows. That'll bring up third down and about four and a half for the first down for Air Force and the line of scrimmage, the 18-yard line. Just handed an injury report on Joe Sayumalu, number 55 from Hawaii. Went out with a left ankle, probable return, just slightly uh, bruised. Four and a half. Dallas keeps, pitches back. This is Johnson turning the corner. First down. Knock out of bounds by number 94, new one of Kaulia. So you can see Air Force running that wishbone. That time going away from running up the middle to Smith and taking advantage of Greg Johnson. Johnson. That's his 115th carry on the year. Comes in with 792 yards and 15 touchdowns. He's 12th in the nation in scoring touchdowns. Johnson just finds a seam up the sideline. They had the green shirts in the right place. They just weren't able to get in position to make the tackle. Johnson showing his ability as he just fights up the sideline to pick up that big first down. Robert Cross to the near side. First and 10. The ball at the 25 yard line now. Ball is given up the middle. And this time it is Booker. Albert Booker carrying number 21. He has stopped for after a short game. Nuwano Kaulia there for the Rainbows. 9.53 left to play here in the first quarter. And no score. The longest touchdown drive of the year, 97 yards by Air Force. Well, they started inside their own one. They've advanced it out now to their own 27. Second down and eight. Keeping the ball is Dallas following Smith. And Dallas for a good gain out over the 30 to the 31. That, that should be enough for a first time, but we have a penalty play. Air Force is very famous for their variations on the theme. The theme being the wishbone, face mask, and that's against Air Force. It's unusual, an offensive face mask penalty. 
Good look at D. Dallas and, and his records right there. And he will be back next year. So on second down and eight, Dallas able to carry for the first down. And they are talking uh, it over with uh, defensive captain Mark Odom. I'm wondering about the execution of this call by the official, Jim, if in fact it wasn't defensive face mask. Well, he did point to Air Force, a very rare call, but. We'll see. Uh, he is pointing again, so. Here, Here he goes. is. Here's Tom Robinson. They're going back. Face mask against the offense. Half the distance to the penalty, to the goal line penalty. Still second down. Oh, that's a big, that that's, is a big penalty. Half the distance. This Fisher, he got the book thrown at him. That's what just happened right there. I mean, that's a big time penalty. Not only is it rare, but when it happens to you, hey, just keep going. That is a penalty. That ball is back inside the 15 yard line. Wow. 14. It is second and 21. Dallas changing the call at the line. He may throw. Dallas keeping. Pitches back. Johnson in trouble. Robertson has it. Out of bounds. Mike Trestle made the play. Gavin Robertson might have had the tackle, but Mike Trestle comes up on a safety blitz. The Bows anticipating on second and long. They were going to go to the wide side. They gambled, and that young man right there, as we watch it on the replay, he really makes it happen, Jim. He comes up on the blitz. Now he's going to get the penetration. Watch him upfield there. Give up his body. He's going to force Robertson outside. Now Gavin Robertson just comes over to make the tackle. I mean, Johnson outside. Sorry. So a loss on the play from the 14 back to the 12. Third and 23 now for Air Force. Kraus to the near side. They break the wishbone. In motion is Roberson. Dallas, he'll run. Breaks one tackle, gets outside. Being chased by Belcher. Briggs comes over to get him at the 25-yard line. Short of the first down, that will bring up fourth down. And Air Force will have to punt it away. But a very interesting set of plays there. And capping everything off is a monstrous penalty against the Falcons. I'm not even sure what the, what the rule was on that that dictated half the distance to the goal line. But be that as it may, it put the put the Air Force into a tough situation. Both played into the both played against a predictable offense. It came up the better for him. There's the punt by Blazy. Briggs takes it on the run. Bobbles for an instant at the 45. Needs help. And doesn't get it. As he is wedged to the turf back at the 41, and we have a late flag. 841 left the play. First quarter, no score. This will be a tough call. It may go against Hawaii here. I'll tell you, if you're not going forward, sooner or later, those guys in the white shirts with the thunderbolts on their helmets are going to catch you because they're rough very quick coming downfield. It was only a 35-yard punt with a minus one-yard return with a clipping penalty added on to it. May be able to pick up uh, the clip here as uh, Chris Blazy, who <laughs> punted the ball, makes the tackle, and the clip is called on David Tanuvasa, number 44. Well, I tell you, you know, his body was sort of behind, but the head wasn't. There was more off to the side. I don't know. Clipping against the receiver. It might have been the guy they called it on. 841 left. And now they mark off the penalty inside the 30 back to the 27 yard line. And the Rainbows will put the ball in play at the 27th. Rainbows with Warren Jones at quarterback. Hey, Cody Fukava, the single running back. Mahuka and Lopati in the slots. Roscoe and Larry Con Smith are the wide receivers. First and 10 from the 27. Jones, no gain. Good fake up the middle to Hakodi Fakava. Jones had the ball. I believe he wanted to pitch eventually to Mahuka coming around, but it never materialized. And Ken Gibadlo out of Arlington Heights, Illinois, who comes into the game with 38 tackles, just made his 39. Gain on the play of one. Second down and nine. The play had sort of a funny ending. It was like it just slowed down, like they shut it down. He was looking at Mahuka, and then suddenly the Air Force converged on him. Second and nine from the 28-yard line for the Rainbows. First quarter, no score. In motion is Lopati. They overload the left side. Ball is given to Mahuka on a sweep. Mahuka dances up the middle, finds a hole, gets out over the 30 to the 33. Oh, the Air Force had him walled off to the outside. He was able to change direction and then step up into that secondary for a pretty good game. 
That'll bring up third down and four. James Pecker out of the defensive backfield. Six feet even, 183-pound senior out of Fort Arnold, California, made the stop. Third and four for the Rainbows. Double wide receiver, now triple wide receiver to the right side. Jones looking. Throws. It is complete for the first down to Junior Lopati. And for Lopati, that's his 21st catch of the season. Good to see Lopati back in the ball game. You see that left elbow taped up very heavily. Last week he went into the bench on a late hit and hyperextended it. It was very questionable, but Junior, with only two games left in his career here, after six knee operations, said there's no way I'm staying out. And we see him coming back in tonight, getting his first reception of the evening. That's the first first down for the Rainbows in this game. Line of scrimmage, the 42-yard line, their own 42. They come out in the double slot. Roscoe to the left, Con Smith to the right. Ball is given. No, kept by Jones. Ooh, he had that ball out there like... He was just trying to balance it, grab it with one hand, and penetrating was Bill Price. Price, the linebacker, 5'10", 198-pound sophomore, did an excellent job. Well, if you want the option to go with your quarterback running, you've got to seal the linebackers down from the inside. Here, Price does not get blocked, gets upfield, scrapes beautifully, and does enough to trip up Warren before he can get to the corner. Nice play by the young sophomore linebacker, 41, Bill Price. No gain on the play. Second down and 10 from the 42. Jones to throw. Oh, has the time. Now throws over the middle. Crossing pattern. Roscoe at the 40. Chris Roscoe. Roscoe, his 37th catch of the year. And well, Roscoe now has caught in 17 consecutive games. Three big things with this play. First, the offensive line's protection is outstanding. Second, the arm of Warren Jones. He threw a bullet. And third, the courage of Chris Roscoe catching it in the crowd over the middle when he knew he was going to get hit by three or four players at the time of catching the ball. First down for the Rainbows at the 40-yard line of the Air Force. Jones again to throw. Looks long. Throws long. Roscoe. Touchdown. Boy, I tell you, you start backing up offensive line protection like that, give one a little bit of confidence, and let Roscoe fly up the sideline. And what you see there is a highlight film number. What a beautiful touchdown pass. Chris Roscoe now breaking a record, catching a touchdown pass in seven consecutive games. But Warren Jones just lets it go. And this is all Chris Roscoe right here. This is man versus man. This is Warren Jones with a great touch of the ball. Leads him, Chris high in the air. Nice job as he goes over the top against Gary Kilmer, the senior cornerback. And to try the extra point is Elam. And Elam drills it. We look at the scoreboard, 555 left to play in the first quarter. Hawaii 7, Air Force, nothing. So for Chris Roscoe, his eighth touchdown reception of the year, 15th touchdown pass by Warren Jones, and Jones places this perfectly. Oh, great protection, and now it's just one-on-one -on -one against Kilmer. Chris just a go pattern up the sideline, and Warren, to his credit, great touch on the football. He led his beautiful, he led his receiver beautifully. Roscoe now has caught touchdown passes against UTEP, San Diego State, BYU, Long Beach State, New Mexico, Wyoming, and tonight Air Force. Well, what I can't figure out is why Chris is still on the phone. I mean, what could he be saying to the coach? Go, is that the way you want me to that's do not, it? That's not well, the coach. Well, you know, you could. That's not the coach. Oh, you, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we don't want to say he's talking to his agent, say, what do you mean second round? That was first round all the way. What are you talking about? His wags. He's having a good time, isn't he? Look at the life of a head coach. He goes, Bring me some Pepto-Bismol right there. He, he comes out with yeah. that manila folder every week. <laughs> and I, I just wonder his collection of manila folders at the right. end of the season. Kickoff goes to Anthony Roberson at the five-yard line. Roberson eludes a man at the 10. And then is upended short of the 20. Wes Alai Lima credited with uh, really getting him flipped up in the air. And we'll take a look at the coverage here by the Rainbow. Well, he gets a 14-yard return here, but he's got to, he's really got to do something to do it because he took the ball in the six and gets it out to the 20. And Ali Lima coming now, putting some good pressure. 7-0 Rainbows, 5 minutes, 50 seconds left here in the first quarter. Krauss comes wide to the near side. Air Force back in that familiar wishbone. Smith, Johnson, rather uh, Roberson. This is Roberson. Good hole. Roberson out over the 20 to the 25-26.
Tressler came over to close him down. Close him down, he did, boy. Tressler really unloaded on him, a dead speed run from the sec secondary. We take a look at it. Now, Gavin Robinson comes down from the outside, number five. He starts to create the lane. Now, Mike doesn't even hesitate. Tressler, he just comes and lowers the head. Great tackle. Good, good, tough football play by that man right there, Mike Tressler. Robertson, Smith, and Booker in the wishbone behind Dallas. Second down, the ball at the 26. And a short gain, Andy Smith runs into the jolly green giants in the middle. I'll tell you, James, I like the hitting for Hawaii right now upstairs. You can really hear the popping. And uh, the ball is really moving very nicely on defense thus far. Mark Odom credited with the stop, and that will bring up third down. Number 83, Steve Sen goes into the game at wide receiver, replacing Greg Cochran. Sen comes wide to the near side. He is picked up by McLeod, Kim McLeod. Third down, three and a half for the first down. Smith. Smith struggling with Odom. Odom waiting for help. Finally comes over. And that is very close to the first down. All up to the spot. We'll see where they go with it. It'll be very close. Here we have a nice look at Mark Odom. I like the isolation on linebackers. You get to see him. Got to come down, stay square, come up, keep the legs going. Now it's a battle between the running backs' legs and, and Odom's. He may just have picked up the first down, Jim. They're going to measure it, but I think he's got it. It'll be real close, about half a football. We'll Odom, see. Odom was struggling with Smith and before Belcher came over to help him out. And they will now measure for the first down. Half a football. We'll see. Oh, oh you're right on it. Yeah. Eyes are still good. I tell you, it's all those vegetables with the turkey the other day. They bring it back, you know? It's only temporary, but they bring it back. 4.36 left in the first quarter. 7-0 Rainbows, 40-yard touchdown pass from Warren Jones to Chris Roscoe, the difference in this game. Air Force again with the wishbone. Dallas turns, Dallas keeping. Pitches back. This is Roberson. He has running room. 40, 45, and boy, he flies up that sideline. Gavin Robertson dove at him and drove him out of bounds. Well, Anthony Robertson is only 5'8", about 150 pounds, but he can fly, and all he is right here is great quickness. Dallas really sets us up. He comes down the line nice. Watch the relationship. Robertson gets out there perfectly. Dallas takes the hit from Tressler inside. They get the block on Briggs. Robeson gets outside, turns it upfield. You see McLeod being blocked. Finally, he just runs out of field as the sideline comes into play. But that was classic wishbone offense by the Air Force Academy. Good chase by Gavin Robertson that time defensively. First down for Air Force at their own 46. Almost fumble. Keeping the ball as Dallas pitches back. And here is Booker. 50, 45, 40. Uh-oh. I think the Air Force has found something here in the last couple plays. They were trying to run up inside. Hawaii was playing very tough inside. Now suddenly as they get to the perimeter, once to the right, now to the left as we watch him come downfield here, set up the option. Colson's completely out of position to play the pitch as Booker just gets it. You see no green shirts. Finally, Mike Colson comes over, but not before they picked up a lot of real estate. And Air Force moving now. They have the ball at the 37-yard line of the Rainbows. Sen is flanked to the far side. Greg Johnson now has come in into that wishbone. This is Johnson. He's the power man inside the 35 to the 34. Mark Odom, ankle tackled him there. So a good surge by the Air Force. They run to the right, they run to the left, and then they give it to Craig Johnson, and he powers up the middle. Inside the 35 at the 34, second down and seven. Krause comes in at wide receiver. He is to the right. Johnson, number 40, Smith, number 35, Roberson, number 20, and the wishbone behind Dallas. Dallas to Smith, bounces off one man, and is able to maneuver his way inside the 30, still short of the first down to the 29-yard line. 321 left to play, 7-0. Rainbows, we are in the first quarter. Andy Smith, tough senior running back. He's, he's been out there for a long time, that fullback, number 35. We've watched him over the last several years. Just a tough, hard-nosed football player. Third down. Two and a half to go for the first down. Dallas keeping. Pitches back. Johnson fumbles the ball. He's being fought for possession. Bridge might have come up with the football. Bridge was out there. The Bows that time played the option beautifully. 
as they had both Dallas Covey and the pitchman in the perimeter. We'll see. First down, Rainbow. What a play by Briggs. Not bad. Make the tackle, get the fumble all at the same time. That's what you want your young man to do right there, Walter Briggs. Nice play out in the perimeter. He was aided, though. He was aided by not the best pitch in the world as we watch. Odom tries to come from behind. Dallas takes the hit as he does. The ball's on the surf. Briggs comes over the top. Now it's who wants the football more. Walter showing a little gymnastics there. Kind of curled over, bent his body, and stole the ball. That's really what it's all about. Great fumble drill right there. Who so the wants rainbows, it more? The rainbows get the ball back. Oh, what an excellent play by Walter Briggs. Billy Stevens is now in a single setback if the rainbows start things at their own 35-yard line. Stevens gets the call. Stevens into the secondary, bounces off a man, the 40, almost the first down, all the way out to the 43. So Billy Stevens just would not give up that time. Mark Lyons and Bill Price made the stop for Air Force. Hello, Billy Stevens. I think it's a good move. Bob Wagner and staff, Paul Johnson, getting Billy back into the ball game. Really hasn't had the big night since San Diego State when he rushed for over 100 yards. Stevens coming back in now and on his first carry, picks up nine yards and adding a lot of spirit to that offense. I like it. Roscoe to the left, Con Smith to the right. Amani Davis and Dean MacArthur now in the slot. Ball is given again to Stevens. He has the first down as he's out over the 45 to the 46 yard line. Two minutes, two seconds left in the first quarter. Seven up in rainbows. Terry Walker made the stop number 42. Interesting story on Walker as you take a look at Billy Stevens. Walker out of Summit, Missouri. Transfer from the University of Missouri. And he started 17 straight games at Missouri before transferring to Air Force. Had to lay out last year. And that's something you don't really hear a lot about. Not at all. You know, very seldom as a kid transferred from a four-year school to a service academy. Ball is kept by Jones. Turns the corner midfield into Air Force territory at the 47-yard line. Bill Price again coming over to halt the progress of Warren Jones. It was interesting at the Blaisdell Arena last night to see how many football players showed up to support the men's basketball team. The men winning last night 96 to 80 and over uh, Montana State and the football players there to I guess cheer on their brothers, well, athletic brothers. Congratulations to Riley Wallace and not trying to be cute or sarcastic. That's the best start now in the last three years. They finally won the open and they look good in it too. Men at 13 left. What a hit. Ball is given to Billy Stevens, and Stevens runs into Terry Walker. So Walker, number 42, really lowers the boom on him. I mean, he unloaded. Well, we, I, you know, I made the comment at the start of the ball game about maybe this defense isn't the same prideful unit, but I'll tell you, they may be down 7 to nothing, but on this particular play, that is good football by the young men in the blue and white uniforms. Just good. You can hear that pop all the way up here. Good job. So that brings up third down and four yards to go for the Rainbows. Third and four, Roscoe and Con Smith, the wide receivers, Jones to throw. Steps up in the pocket, throws long. He wants Roscoe again. Roscoe trips and falls down. And they say incomplete. No interference. He was running stride for stride with Gary Kilmer. Well, the legs got tangled up. Tough break for Chris. He had to step on. Great shot now to replay. He actually has him beat. They get tied up into the legs, and he goes down. Chris is able to keep his feet. He had position on the ball. I think he had himself another six. Tough break. Kilmer was not looking around for the ball when they had the collision. Kilmer goes as an incomplete pass. Sure, Kilmer was just trying to stay up with Chris. 28 seconds left. They snap the ball right to Briggs. He has the first down. 35-30, 25-20. Stumble. Whoa, he had the touchdown. Stumbles at the 15. The fake punt. They snapped it to Briggs. And the Rainbows are sitting pretty. And Briggs had a touchdown. Oh, is he frustrated? I'll tell you, great call. Great call, Bobby Wagner. That man right there, I give the Bulls credit. Didn't think we'd see one of those all year, Jim. Didn't expect to see it right now in the ball game. It's one of those things they must have seen in the film. Something with the alignment from Air Force. Briggs has been a great runner. He was a great quarterback for Hawaii. Picks up 23 yards, but as you said, right here, if he was not, unable not to get tripped up, if they didn't trip him up, he was into the end zone. So Walter Briggs playing himself a game. An excellent fumble recovery. And then on fourth down, the direct snap. Rainbows gamble, and it pays off handsomely. Now timeout is being called as Warren Jones goes to the sidelines. And that's the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the first quarter. With the score, the Rainbows seven. And Air Force nothing. 
So on fourth down, the Rainbows gamble. They snap the ball directly to Walter Briggs, and he goes all the way to the 15-yard line. You know, an unsung hero on a play like that oftentimes would be the center. And we Agia Pelo, to his credit, you know, he has to execute it too. There's a lot of focus on the guy who gets the ball, Briggs that time, in a spectacular run. But it all starts with the center. He's got to get that off direction type of thing back to Briggs. And that time, Agia Pelo, 91 for Hawaii, did it beautifully. First down and 10 from the Air Force 15. The Rainbows lead 7 to nothing as we begin the second period of play. Jones may be changing the call at the line. Back to pass. A little shovel pass. Gives the ball to Clayton Mahuka. And the Air Force there to shut it down. Bill Price and Daryl Sumrall out of Mason, Ohio. Sumrall number 81, Price number 41. And they were there to wall off Mahuka. First quarter stats. You see passing yards. Air Force, none. And the Rainbow 67, including a 40-yard touchdown pass from Jones to Roscoe. Total so, yards, 127 to 84. So much for my statement about the passing game for Air Force being one of the keys, but we'll see. It's still early on. Be one of the keys if they're going to be effective, and maybe that's one of the things that's uh, missing right now. Second down at the 14. Keeping the ball is Jones, headbutting his way just short of the 10-yard line. Terry Walker coming over from Missouri. And Jones getting up very slowly. And it may be the knee. It is the knee. Uh-oh. Uh, he'll be all right. He's a tough guy. He just took a little helmet on the knee, bouncing up. It's one thing about Warren, to his credit, you know, we look at Garrett Gabriel out there who has not really had a whole lot of opportunity to play this year because of what I was about to say, and that is Mr. Jones, Warren Jones, very durable quarterback. There he takes a helmet right on the knee. That does not feel good. Never had that experience. You really don't want it, but if you want to feel it, try running into your refrigerator at full speed with your knee out in front of you. I don't think, I don't think a lot of people do. I don't think they want to do that, but if you just, you know, you want to experience it. Rainbows have called a timeout. 13:44 left to play in the first half. Seven. Warren Jones remains in the game. Went to the sidelines, and that's about all he needed. Was about a minute's time for that injury to wear off. Third down for the Rainbows. Jones rolling. Comes back to the near side. In trouble. They sack him. Back at the 26-yard line. Nothing materialized. Credit the Air Force secondary. They really had everybody bottled up. Uh, good call by Air Force that time. Third and long passing situation. They decided to go for it. Kenny Gabaldo right there getting the credits from his teammates. As they come, they get the blitz on all the way. Warren starts to roll to his right. He gets pressured immediately by both Gabaldo and Lane Bean. And they're all over him. So they put the tee down at the, just short of the 30-yard line. This is a 39-yard attempt by Jason Elam, his longest 48 yards. That came against San Diego State. Kick is on its way. It twists toward the uprights, and it is good. 12:59 left to play in the first half. Hawaii 10, Air Force nothing. So a field goal by Jason Elam. That's his 16th field goal. He is 16 out of 20. Members of the Air Force Drum and Bugle Corps saying hello to everybody. We'd like to say hello to everybody on Prime Ticket all throughout Southern California, Arizona, and Nevada. Watching us tonight from Aloha Stadium in Honolulu. 10-0 Rainbow. Elam will kick off for Hawaii. Bobby Thomas, number 14, and Anthony Roberson, number 20, deep for the academy. Back inside the 10, both standing at the five-yard line. Here comes Elam. It will go to Roberson at the goal line. The 20, the 30, the 33-yard line, and he almost broke it. I mean, he saw the on-ramp to the fast lane, and he started to take advantage of it. A few more steps, maybe two, maybe three, he'd be gone. 33-yard return. Well, that wouldn't be the first time as we watched Roberson behind a nice wall. This is just textbook right there. 33-yard kickoff return. Gets the ball up to the 33-yard line. But Anthony Robeson, the homegrown product from Colorado Springs, a senior halfback, has just been a great player, pound for pound, at 5'8", 156. Probably their best running back down there for the Air Force Academy next to Dallas. Cochran is flanked to the far side. Ball is given up the middle to Anthony Smith. Struggles with the green shirts and is able to advance the ball from the 33 out over the 35-yard line. Augie Apelu, along with uh, Gavin Robertson, and on the stop, Odom had a piece also. So a gain on the play from the 33 over the 35. It'll be second down, seven and a half. 
Sen is now the wide receiver, number 83, picked up again by McLeod. Ball is kept by Dallas. He has running room, 40, 45, midfield into rainbow territory. That quick. He is rabbit quick. Oh, he's got great feet. That's just what you want. Got the great head, mind for playing the game, running this option attack, and the great feet. God has blessed him. As he comes down the line right here, he's going to see. He sees the lane right there. He gets his blocking, and then it's just all upfield. Good block by Hollister to tackle to spring him. But D. Dallas very alertly, knowing where to go, what the decision should be, executed that play beautifully for the Air Force Academy. 10 nothing Hawaii Air Force on the move again. First down, ball is given to Greg Johnson. Johnson breaking tackles, still going, backing his way in the grasp of David Maeva all the way to the 36-yard line. That's enough for a first down. Talk about power running. Well, talk about determination. The one thing we know overall about the Air Force Academy is that they have been on the field against very good opponents. They always play their best for the full 60 minutes, and here's a real good example. If you're going to bring them down, you're going to have to tackle them like the Bulls were doing in the first period. They cannot let up being up 10 to nothing right now because these guys in the blue and white from Colorado Springs will come right back on you. 11.37 left to play. First down for Air Force. The ball on the 36-yard line of the Rainbows. Keeping the ball is Dowitz. He'll throw. Dowitz has Cochran out in front. Touchdown, Air Force. Good-looking play. First pass play of the night right there. They're going to go to Cochran, the wide receiver from Boulder, Colorado. Not a very big guy at 5'11", 165. But Dowitz kind of threw it up there. A little bit of a ruptured pass. They beat Kim McLeod on the post pattern. Here you take a look at a little option play action. He's going to set up. Now he's going to go. The ball just kind of sailing through the air. Cochran in great position on McLeod. Runs the post, catches it. Good play by the Air Force. 36-yard touchdown pass. Seventh touchdown pass of the year for D. Dallas. Third touchdown reception by Greg Cochran. Steve Yarborough in to try the extra point. And the Air Force has come roaring back here in the second period. Yarborough drills it. And we look at the scoreboard with 11.26 left to play in the first half. It is now 10-7. Hawaii. Larry Kahn Smith deep for the Rainbows. 10-7 in favor of Hawaii over the Air Force Academy. Yarborough will kick off. Good to see Larry Kahn Smith back in the lineup. He is a flyer. They want to keep the ball away from him. Line drive kick taken on the bounce by Clayton Mahuka. 20-25-30. Out to the 32. And the Rainbows will put the ball in play there. So a 36-yard touchdown pass. We've seen two brilliant throws here tonight. One, Jones Sorosco, 40 yards for the rainbow touchdown, and then the 36-yard touchdown pass. Uh, officially, they say 35 now. Dallas to uh, Cochran, Yarborough with the extra point, and we have a very close, cozy game, 10-7. I think that graphic right there is, is indicative of the kind of offense the Air Force has. They come right back and score on you in a hurry, four plays. Number 40, that's a brew down. He has played very well on the special teams uh, for uh, the Rainbow. Sean Abreu, and he is on his back. Sean Abreu is, Abreu is one of those players on special teams that is totally reckless. He just comes down there and just flies, and uh, that time there he probably took the worst of it, but he's been giving it out all season. Sean, just a real tough young man, kind of guy you want on special teams. I mean, he just flies down there in his lane. Fisher DeBerry, uh, the coach-evangelist, he... Oh, always oh. says something to say. He's an amazing person to talk to because what he will do is that he will sit you down and go through the entire Air Force philosophy on why they run the wishbone, and he says because of the discipline. Yep, he'll the do it in discipline. 60 seconds or less. Too. That's yes, what I like about it. Here he we will. go, Air Force football. Boom. <laughs> and then, and then what you will do is that you will you will also give him topics. And he'll go on. Yeah, he'll he'll go on on any topic. He's, he's amazing. A, he's a great guy. We've always enjoyed Fisher. It's good football. Great football coach. Good man. First down for the Rainbows. Just short of the 33-yard line. Single setback now. Hey, Cody Fakaba, number 17. Roscoe and Con Smith, the wide receivers. Long count by Jones spinning. In trouble. Breaks the tackle. He's at the 35-yard line, 36. Oh, good penetration that time. That's the key right there, Jimmy. Good penetration. Air Force Academy coming off the ball real well. Hawaii's going to have any kind of success running the option. You can't allow that penetration. It just forces Jones to come wide, lets people converge over. They shut off the seams. Nowhere to go. Warren was lucky that time to pick up the four yards, and that was all based on his determination and athletic ability. Mark Lyons, number 59, operating in the offensive backfield of the Rainbows on that last play. Second down and seven. 
Jones gives the ball up the middle. Carrying it is Haykoti Fakava. Fakava stopped after a short game short of the 40 yard line to the 39. And that will bring up third down and four. Terry Walker, number 42, Bill Price, number just, 41. Just prior to that play, we flashed up a quick graphic. Jones had seven rushes for five yards. That tells you something right there. And to the credit of the Air Force Academy, playing Jones real tough on the run thus far. Third down and four, 10-13 left. First half, 10-7, Rainbows. Rainbows trying to keep this drive going. Short drop, sideline pattern, complete to Rotsko. Has the first down and into Air Force territory at the 49-yard line. Gary Kilmer there to make sure that he steps out of bounds. You know, as we watch the ISO on Roscoe, you would think that this play would be here all night for Hawaii. Kilmer just having a play off of Chris because of the respect he has for his speed. Then he comes up and collides on him, but uh, not before Chris picks up the first down and more. And Warren, once again, with great protection. So the Rainbows a yard into Air Force territory on the 49. Con Smith to the right, Roscoe to the left. MacArthur and Davis are the slot backs. MacArthur in motion. They overload the right side. Three receivers. They throw it to Davis. Davis can run. Davis bounces off a man at the 42-yard line down to the 41. Mario Mathis out of Augusta, Georgia would not give up. Davis's nickname is the Moose, and when the Moose is loose, things really happen, but this time, Mathis did not go for the bumping sort of tackle. He went for the grasp. There you yeah, see him reach help. out and right there. Toth comes over there. It's, it is unusual. Armani Davis, the one thing he can do, Jim, as you said, the freshman from Los Angeles, is he can run after he catches the football. That's when he's most exciting. Second down and two for the Rainbows at the 41-yard line of Air Force. In motion is Davis. Ball is given up the middle to hate Cody Fakaba has the first down, and he's able to slice his way to the 36-yard line of Air Force. Price and Walker again on the inside. They have been busy tonight. Good play selection, I think, by Hawaii thus far in this series. They're mixing their plays up pretty good and doing everything they need to be moving the ball systematically downfield. They just don't need to make any mistakes right here. I think they're doing a good job of keeping this Air Force defense a bit off balance. First and 10 for the Rainbows on the 36-yard line of the Air Force. Davis and MacArthur again in the slot. Roscoe to the left and Con Smith to the right. Four-man front, now three-man front for the Air Force. Spinning move by Jones, pitches back. This is uh, MacArthur, and he's upended immediately. Well, that play run to the short side of the field really didn't yield any kind of dividend, and uh, MacArthur goes off limping. Well, they play real well. Algram comes up, the senior cornerback out there, and he just does a nice job coming over the top. Davis doesn't have the block out there, and they're just running it into the short side, end up losing some yards. 8.30 left the play in the first half. 10-7 Rainbow, second down and nine from the 35. I was wrong. They picked up a yard, but uh, they did a good job that time here for us of, st of stopping that play. In motion is Mahuka, number 16. Jones throws incomplete. Boy, he had no time at all. He had no time at all. Mike Juries, number one, really blitzed. Well, you know, just talking about the offensive play call from Hawaii, I think good defensive play calling here from Air Force. Now they're coming with a little bit of a blitz. You see him trying to get two guys pressuring in right there. And uh, Juries was in his face. And, and I don't also know Randall Gladney. 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 Gladney, okay, 45. Should know him. He's their big star linebacker. Third and nine now. Let's see what the Air Force opts to do. Seems like an obvious passing situation. We'll see. The Air Force choosing to mix it up on defense with the blitz the last couple plays. Triple wide receiver to the left. Jones fumbles, picks it up. Running out of trouble, being chased by Juries. Jury Saxon, Mike Jury, out of Boise, Idaho. He's playing in only his eighth game this season. It's a heads up play by Jury. He just won't stop on this. He gets aided because Warren drops the ball, but now he's going to come over the top. He's not going to be blocked by Fakava. Gets hit, breaks off, and keeps going. And Juries does what you're supposed to do when you come. You just get there and make the tackle. Good job. 7.41 left. Kyle Alou in the punt. Last time they snapped it directly to Walter Briggs. That excited everybody. This time they go to Alou. Last time he put it, he put it inside the one. It bounces this time into the end zone, and the Air Force will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line. 7.26 left to play in the first half. Air Force trails the Rainbows of Hawaii by three. Good 42-yard punt that time by Alou. Ball will come back out to the 20. I think the defense, Jim, is challenged right now as far as the overall momentum in this ballgame to have a good series. 
Air Force just hot off of that last touchdown. Let's see, this young man, D. Dallas, he knows how to score points. That's for sure. I want to remind everyone that at the conclusion of tonight's game, Rick and I will be selecting the GTE Hawaiian Tell Rainbow Most Valuable Player. The University of Hawaii's General Scholarship Fund will receive a $100 cash award in the name of that player from Hawaiian Tell. First down for Air Force at their own 20. Ball is given to Roberson. No, no, not Roberson. A new player that has come into that wishbone. That's Rodney Lewis, number 29. And Lewis is able to break tackles from the 20 all the way out to the 26. Oh David Maeva there to make the stop. Lewis, big fullback. Now the biggest guy back there at 6'1", 200 pounds. Got a good look at him right there. We said it was an all-senior backfield coming in here, but Lewis is a big man for this uh, kind of backfield for the Air Force Academy. That was his 22nd carry on the season. So a good gain on the play of six, second down and four. Dallas. Gives the ball up the middle, Rodney Lewis. Lewis short of the first down. Gavin Robertson would have none of the sleight of hand by Dallas. Bo's playing tough up inside. He's giving me an opportunity, Jim, right now to talk about it. it takes dedication, commitment, and experience to become a winning team. Like the team at McKinley Car Wash. They're trained to pamper your car, to serve you and your car's needs, and have 40 years of undefeated experience in the business. McKinley Car Wash on Kapiolani and in Kalihi because their goal is to make you shine. Third down and two. Lewis, Booker, and Roberson. This is Booker. Has the first down. And more. Runs out to the 35-yard line. That's enough for a first down for the Air Force. And credit a very quick offensive line. The holes are not open long, but they're open long enough. Good point, Jimmy. Good point. Offensive line very quick up there. And we just suspected that we would see that. They're just firing off and getting in there, making good contact, sustaining it, and opening up enough of a seam for the back to get up in there and make the first down. 5.56 left to play in the first half. 10 for the Rainbow, 7 for Air Force. Dallas keeping penalty fly. Dallas will pull up to a stop. It should be against the Air Force. Illegal procedure against the Academy. And that should put them back at the 30-yard line. Illegal procedure on the offense, still first down. Krauss comes into the game as the wide receiver, and Steve Sin goes out. Krauss comes in with the play for Air Force. Krauss also comes out as wide receiver to the right. Lewis is the fullback. Booker and Roberson are the halfbacks behind Dallas. Dallas gives the ball up the middle to Lewis. Lewis is stopped. Swarming defense that time. Air Force has rushed so far in this game for 123 yards. Well, but they haven't had too much of it up inside. That time the Bulls gambled and they came with the blitz and they were all over Lewis before he could do anything. He might have picked up two yards, but they're still in a second and 13 situation. Good quickness by Hawaii's defense that time. Cochran comes into the game as the wide receiver. Cochran, 36-yard touchdown pass from Dallas. And Cochran comes out to the near side, picked up by McLeod. Same personnel in the wishbone for Air Force. Second down and 13. Dallas pitching. This is Roberson. Roberson gets out over the 35 to the 38-yard line. Walter Briggs, number four for the Rainbows. There to belt him out of bounds. 4.42 left. 10 seven Hawaii good defense that time by Hawaii they strung out the option nicely Air Force was able to pick up four or five yards on the play but actually that was about as well played as you'd want it in fact the Bows at the end were going for the football more than the man and they might have actually been able to make the tackle two or three yards further back interesting call here Sen comes in with the play goes out to the far side Air Force stays in the wishbone which shows run let's see if Dallas throws or whether he runs it wide he will throw Throws for Sen. Knocked away by McLeod. They're going to call interference. I don't believe that. I thought McLeod made a brilliant play. I think he but gets we're his, up here. He gets his hand on his back, I think, right there. Bob Wagner a little bit upset. He'll take a look at it. I think McLeod reaches over with his hand on his back, Jim. We'll see on the replay. If there he's is got, contact. He's got contact. He had contact, I think, just prior, Jim. Boy, that contact. You have to be a dermatologist to see that. 
that ball was brilliantly volleyed away by uh, McLeod. And you have to use that adjective. It was a brilliant play. McLeod still believes it. And I'm not sure whether he's right. It, and I would have to go with uh, the official. He had a much better look at it than we have way up here. We I, want to diagnose the play. But if there was contact, Rick, I'm sure you will agree. Maybe you won't. I think, it was, I think it was premature contact unnecessary okay. to the play. What happened was Kim was into his body while the ball was in the air, realized it, pulled his hand back, then reached around and made a great play. But the, what the official call was that he had contact while the ball was in the air was unnecessary. And it was ever so slight. That's a new line by you, a dermatologist. That's hadn't quite heard that before. But um, it was just one of those unnecessary, um, unfortunate breaks for Kim McLeod. Here's Tom Wallace. Interference against the defense. First down. Ever so slight. One wonders whether or not you can chug a guy that one time there and make one contact on the breaking move. But the call has been made and that's the only thing that counts. That's right. 437 left. Air Force losing here 10 to 7 but uh, capable of jumping right back into the lead at any time. Kraus to the near side. Now they have reloaded, so to speak. They have their first down at the 48-yard line of the Rainbows. Lewis remains in at fullback. And that will be a penalty on Air Force. Jumping off the left side of the line before the snap of the ball. There's the left side. And number 53 jumping off for the Air Force. That camera guy must have ESP tonight. Boy, putting an ISO on an offensive lineman like that as he jumps off, that's great stuff. Kevin Bell, number 53. So it is still first down, but now Air Force has the ball on their own territory at the 47, first and 15. Cochran comes to the near side. Rainbow showing blitz. Maeva does not blitz. Back to pass, Dallas. Throws on up the sideline. It is incomplete. Colson recovered. The ball was lofted. It was intended for Craig Johnson. Colson recovered defensively. Well, it's a lucky break for Hawaii. The ball not very well thrown. In fact, it's underthrown. That's why Colson's able to make the play because he's being beat up the sideline. The receiver has to come back for the ball. It's underthrown. Colson's in good position. He comes off his back. But Craig Johnson had gotten up field, had the steps. Dallas just had to get the ball over Colson instead threw it into his back. You can see the effect of that fake by Dallas. Second down and 15 from their own 47-yard line. Dallas keeping. Has running room if he can turn the corner. Maeva gets in at the 47-yard line of the rainbow. Great bring play. up third down. Great play by David Maeva as he makes it from the inside out. Now here, beautiful work here as we watch David come down the line, shoulder square. It's his responsibility now to run down the quarterback. He doesn't get blocked. He shows the ability to cackle in the open field, and he gets there. That's nothing but effort, heart, determination, all of those words, and then some. David Maeva, good open field tackle on D. Dallas. Trent Van Holzen out of Fridley, Minnesota, goes in at tight end. Also, Cochran goes in at wide receiver. Van Holzen sets up on the left side. Dallas to throw. In trouble. Now throws. Nobody there. Only guy there was Brian Belcher. Fans want grounding. What a friendly lot. That's Here's one, I, I can't say it, but I don't know who D was throwing the ball to. The only guy in the area was Brian Belcher, the outside linebacker for Hawaii, number 63. Incomplete is the call. It will be fourth down, fourth and nine. And Blazy will punt. A wobbler calling for the fair catch as Briggs takes it at the 10-yard line. One left to play in the first half. Hawaii 10, Air Force 7. The Dallas is hidden behind uh, number 90. You see number 90 there is uh, Jones, Lee Jones. There's Dallas. He's out of Royston, Georgia. What a great looking face. I mean, the kid ought to be on the cover of some kind of cereal box. He just has that all-American look. Great athlete. First down for the Rainbows at their own 10-yard line. Ball is given up the middle, carrying the ball. 
is Billy Stevens. Stevens from the 10 out to the 15 yard line. Tom Kafka out of Omaha, Nebraska there to make the stop for Air Force. 318 left, the clock ticking away. We're in the second quarter. It will be second down and six yards to go for Hawaii. It's be a very interesting possession for Hawaii because of the clock and the situation in the game. Can they get some more points before the half as we hit the three minute mark? Mahoka and Lopati in the slot. Ball is given up the middle again, Stevens. Stevens had the hole there. He was tripped up at the last instant. Out over the 20. They will give him forward progress to the 22 yard line. That's enough for the first down. A little uh, misdirection blocking, a little trap. Stevens gets it there. He's frustrated because he saw nothing but open field in front of him. Good blocking up front. So the Rainbows garner another first down over the 22 yard line. Out they come. Rosco and Con Smith, again the wide receivers. And calling a timeout, rising up and calling a timeout is Jones. Rainbows burned their second timeout here in the first half. 2.35 left. Stay with us. 10 7. Hawaii. Fisher DeBerry. Looking on with two minutes and 35 seconds left to play here in the first half. Rainbows completing their second timeout of the first half. Out of the huddle they come. A Koti Fukaba now goes back in at single setback. First and 10 from the 22. The ball is given to Fukaba and he bumps off a defender at the line of scrimmage. And down he goes after a very short game. Bill Price out of Galleon, Ohio. Rainbows seem to be just a step slow of really breaking off the big games. When you look back at this season, Rick, the Rainbows have been hurt by the big play. The Air Force certainly has the potential to do that. Yes, they do. And I think the part of the thing that's hurting the Obos in offense is just the quickness of the defensive front for Air Force are getting over there. Jones to throw. Four-man pattern. Looks up the sideline. Nothing there. Now throws long. Let's go. It's thrown short, and it's incomplete. Coming over. Was number 28 for the Air Force, Pat Algram. Algram really had Roscoe boxed off. Well, you know, to his credit, Chris had to wait too long. He comes back, he stops way downfield. He had to wait for the ball. Algram was able to line up, tee off, and time it beautifully. Very, very difficult, almost impossible for Chris to catch that ball because Algram just had all the time to come at him. Third down, long yardage now for the Rainbows. Passing situation. Let's see if Jones puts it up. Third down and a seven. They have to go all the way to the 32-yard line. Ball at the 25. Roscoe and Con Smith, again the wide receivers. Jones to throw, has the time. Now throws. It is complete to Lopati first down. And Lopati bent backward by Algram at the 39-yard line, but he gets up okay. That's that knee that has been operated on time and time again, and he got up and walked away. Excellent protection once again for Warren. He finds Junior just curling out right there over the stakes to pick up the first down to keep this drive going. Nice catch by Lopati. Good throw by Jones. Good third down conversion play by the Rainbow. First and 10 from their own 39. Jones again to throw. He may throw, or he may run, or he may dance out of bounds. He may stop the clock at 135 left. Bows have one timeout left, so stopping the clock. If they're going to keep this drive going like that, it's good heads-up play. Jones, 6 of 10, 88 yards in passing, and one touchdown. He's been sacked twice. Second down and 11. Rushing, he has now lost two yards. And the Rainbows now with the ball at the 38-yard line, their own 38. Lopati, Mahuka, and Roscoe to the near side. Jones looking left, throws for Roscoe, has it, curls back to the sideline, 45-40. They say no, he stepped out, stepped out on the 45. Tough break for Chris as he picked up about 20 more yards than that. They're going to bring the ball back to the Air Force 44. We'll take a look at it. Chris comes down the field. He's going to make a move to the out pad. He's going to come back, wait for the ball, catches it. Now he moves to the outside, and we will see if we're on the replay. He's on the line right there, and that's where they're going to mark the ball, a little bit to the outside, just over to 45. Mario Mathis on the coverage, another first down for the Rainbows. 126 left in the first half. Rainbows lead 10 to 7. Jones' seventh completion of the evening. Jamie Collins now in as a wide receiver. He is flanked to the far side. To the near side is Roscoe. In motion is Lopati. 
Jones looking to the right. Throws. It is complete to Mahoka. 35, 30, 29 yard line. First down, Rainbow. Well, that'll stop the clock. The Bulls in a hurry up offense. They've got one timeout left. They want to keep this drive alive. Good looking play that time to Mahuka in the seam. He just put the zone and got upfield. Warren knew just where to go. Rainbow's operating without the huddle. They have one timeout remaining. First and 10 from the 29 of Air Force. Jones again to throw. He may want to run. Down he goes at the 26. 105, and the clock will continue to run. Uh, he doesn't want to use that timeout. He's got his team. No huddle offense inside the minute mark. Second down from the 26-yard line. Jones throwing. The receiver fell down. It was almost intercepted. Jamie Collins fell down on the outside. Andrew Toth. Also came up, almost came up with the interception. That will be third down at the 26-yard line. And Jones quickly to the sideline as the clock is stopped with 45 seconds left. Well, they've got lots of time plus one timeout left here to make something happen inside the end zone. Question here is whether or not they go for uh, more than just the first down. We'll see. Warren Jones out of Dallas, Texas. Jones the senior, third down and seven. Looking for Roscoe. Throwing. Roscoe is too low down at the 15 yard line. Gary Kilmer covering the, on the play. Here comes Jason Elam. Tough break for Hawaii. Roscoe had the play. He beat Kilmer on the out pad and ball thrown low. Jason comes out. He's going to have the ball pretty much dead center over the middle. Should be, what, a 43 yard attempt. Oh, 48-yard attempt. I'm sorry. Oh, 43. That's it. 43. Hey. His longest has been 48. He has kicked a 39-yarder tonight. Waiting for the snap. Out of the hold of Alou. This ball on the way. This ball is good. Jason Elam, his second field goal, his 17th of the season. Second field goal of this game. So with 35 seconds left in the first half, Rainbow's lead Air Force 13 to 7. So Bob Weicker, not well, really satisfied that his team did not punch it in, but he'll take the toe of Elam and some points on the board. What? Rainbow's now lead by six. I think that's a real good point, Jim. I mean, you know, it's nice to score the points, even with a second field goal, and it's a nice looking 43 yard field goal. But by the same token, with this prolific Air Force offense, being up by six is, you know, almost academic because, bam, you're on the board again and uh, suddenly you don't have the lead anymore. It would have been a nice opportunity at that time to come up with seven for Hawaii, but Air Force would just have none of it. Air Force with that relentless wishbone. One of the things, one of the criticisms of the wishbone is that once you fall behind, it is very difficult to catch up because the wishbone, and to go back to that term, the wishbone is a relentless, grind it out kind of offense that once in a while yields the big plays. But if you're behind, you need some points in a hurry. Rainbow's now lead by six. Not to say that Air Force, who has a gigantic bag of tricks, can't reach in here in the final seconds of the first half. That ball is picked up, it is uh, picked up by uh, Trent Van Holzer. And he is out over the 35 all the way to the 37-yard line, and that is where Air Force, with 29 seconds left in the first half, and trailing 13-7, to 7, will put the ball in play. Well, the ball is taken on the 30, returns seven yards. I think actually, Jim, that's a squib kick that kind of went awry a bit because I think Air Force has got some pretty decent field position with the ball on the 37 right here. Cochran is to the far side. To the near side is Krause. And they come out of the wishbone into the double slot. This is the same offense that Hawaii runs. Booker is in motion. They overload the left side. Dallas throwing. It is incomplete. It was intended on the far side for Booker. Mike Tressler covering on the play. Second down and 10 from the 37-yard line. And there you see the time. One thing Air Force has is speed. Cochran and Sen now are the wide receivers. Roberson goes in the slot to the left, Booker to the right, and the single setback is Smith. Booker again goes in motion. Triple wide receiver to the left. 
Dallas gives the ball to Smith. He goes nowhere. Boy, the Rainbows were waiting for him that time. New one of Kaulia. And also number 55, Joe Sayomalo. Real good defense as Air Force takes a timeout, but Sayomalo and Kaulia right there. Good shot at, shot at New Wano. Just really closed down on the ball carry. So New Wano Kaulia out of Wide Eye and also Joe Sayomalo, who was injured very early on in this game. He is now retired. Or not retired, but he returned. Is. Returned to the game. Well, we take a look at it too. And Joe, just such a force up there. He stuffs, they're trying to trap him. He just stuffs the block, comes right up there. And they just, they're just all over Andy Smith. And Smith, as we said earlier, the senior fullback is a tough little runner. But Kalia and Sayomaro smothered him on that play. That was one for five in passing. His only completion tonight was to Cochran, 36 yards for the touchdown. But they came out of their offense, at least the wishbone look, and they're trying to run that spread offense, Jim, late here in the second quarter, trying to show a little versatility. But thus far, the execution has been a bit suspect. The pass on the sideline, not all that well thrown, and that time the dive to Smith was just eaten up. Cochran is already out as a wide receiver. He's trying to hide within the trainers going off the field and also the official. Third down and 12. Johnson is now in motion. Dallas to throw. Now throws. It is almost picked off by Briggs. Walter Briggs is having a big game tonight this first half, and that time that was just terrific as he steps right in front of Greg Cochran. Oh, we're going to have a pretty look at it right here. The life of a defensive back. You drop back, you drop back, you watch the football. The ball is in the air. You're now converging the ball carrier. Interception, that's what you want, but you don't get it. Tough break for Walter Briggs. Time to pound the turf. Well, oh, that's frustrating. It is. Of course, you and I are former, a couple of former defensive backs, right? Yeah, we've been, sure. We've, we've been back. <laughs> Fourth down and 12. Blazy in the punt. Briggs is back deep for the Rainbows. Rainbows try to block it. They almost do. Odom almost had it. Ball bounces. Briggs plays it on the hop at the 23. And he will succumb to the pressure around the 25-yard line. Now we got two seconds left here. Want to venture a guess? That was a 42-yard punt with no return. Warren getting the instruction. This Paul Johnson. We don't usually see him because he's upstairs. He's down there right now before the end of the first half. The offensive coordinator for Hawaii. Is he going to just take a knee or is he going to air it out? We'll take a look. 13-6. You have the lead. You have the lead. It's a free play. It's a free play. It really is a free play. I guess the question becomes whether or not... Uh, well, the question is, what do you want to do with the free play? <laughs> they got trips out here. Looks like they're going to throw it. Yep. Roscoe. Lopati and Mahuka, Jones to throw, steps up, the mighty heave is on its way. Incomplete, like throwing into a hotel level. But I salute the effort. Yes, I like it. So the Rainbows lead 13 to seven at halftime. And the difference in this game, two field goals by Jason Elam. Welcome back, everybody. 13 to 7. Rainbows lead the Air Force Academy. You see, first down's pretty much even. Rushing yards, the, the edge goes to the Air Force. Passing yards, overwhelmingly, the edge goes to the Rainbows of Hawaii. Turnovers, one. That was the fumble recovered by Briggs. Penalties, not too many. Not too many. Six during the whole game, and then the punts, and then the time of possession, not that far apart either. And the scoreboard reflects that. Six yeah. points. And there's only, what, less than, I think if we add those up real quick, like less than 30 yards total offense difference between both ball clubs. So for all intents and purposes, I guess, as you could say, to 13-7, we really have pretty much of a dead even ball game. Bob Wagner against Fisher DeBerry. Fisher DeBerry 4-0 against the Rainbows in his coaching career at Air Force. And for Bob Wagner, 0-1. He would like to come away with a winning record in the Western Athletic Conference tonight. Uh, Hawaii uh, able to defeat Air Force, should that happen. And also Air Force would like to come away with, uh, if not a winning season, not a losing one. This is their 12th game. And they are 5-6, and 3-4 and four in the conference. The Rainbows are at 7-3. and three. And in the conference, they are four. Well, I, think, I think this second half, I mean, this is going to sound like a common cliche, or it's going to sound common anyway. It's really going to boil out to who wants it more. This is the last half of football for many seniors on this Air Force team, many of whom have enjoyed great success while at the Air Force Academy. They've won the Commander-in-Chief Trophy. They've won bowl games. They've been terrific. This is their last half of football coming up now. 
If Hawaii is going to win, they're going to have to take the game away from the guys in blue and white from Colorado Springs. Steve Yarborough pops it up on the kickoff. It bounces on the 20-yard line. It's anybody's ball. And the Rainbows finally get it, I believe, at the 28. Well, that's a live ball on the kickoff. You just can't watch it bounce around. Air Force almost came up with an amazing way to start the second half. Take a quick look at the graphic here. Hawaii's first half possessions in red. Indication, a lot of positive yardage. No blue tonight on that graphic. So everything went forward. Pretty good yardage, but uh, only one touchdown, two field goals. You know, that may not have been a mistake by Yarborough. The way he reacted when he came off the field, that may have been that little uh, pop-up and try to get downfield behind that first wall. Billy Stevens gathered it in for the Rainbows. First down for Hawaii on their own 27-yard line, and motion is Lopati. I think you're right, Jim, on that call. The throw is to Mahuka, 35, down at the 36th gain of nine. Mario Mathis going for a ride on Clayton Mahuka. So the Rainbows open throwing here in the second half. They lead 13 to seven. Clayton Mahuka from Nanakulu. And for Clayton, that is his 12th catch of the year. He has one touchdown. That was against Brigham Young. It was third reception tonight. Second down and about a yard and a half. Single setback. It's a Cody Fakaba. He gets the call. Looking for running room. Has the first down. Wedges out over the 40 to the 42. Well, he almost snuck out of there from the crowd. It looked as if he was going down. And all of a sudden, 17 just sort of darts out. As we take another look at a little reverse pivot by Warren Jones. He gives the ball to Hey Cody. You see Hey Cody waiting for the blocks to develop. Tries to sneak in there behind Theo Adams and almost gets up field there. They had a little bit too much of his leg for him, really, to make something like that happen. Rainbow's also pulled Mark New on the play, 6'7", about 350. He's playing offensive guard tonight, by the way, that left guard. Mahuka in motion, Jones looking. Throws out of the backfield with uh, the ball is Lopati, 50-45. And that's enough for a first down, gain of 12. Bo's coming out throwing the football here in the second half and being successful with it as we take a look at it. Warren's going to go to Junior all the way. He's just looking all the way. He waits for Junior to release in the flat. Hits him beautifully. Junior catches it, turns up field, lowers the shoulder, picks up a first down in Air Force territory. Mario Mathis finally coming over, making the tackle along with Andrew Toff, two DBs. So the Rainbows almost instantly have the ball inside. Air Force territory, 13.56 left to play third period. Con Smith is to the far side, Roscoe to the near side. Mahuka and Lopati in the slot. And in motion goes Lopati. Single setback is Fakaba. He gets the call. Fakaba bouncing, but he cannot penetrate into that secondary, walling him off. Very well, the Air Force front liners with help from the linebackers. Lane Bean, number 81 out of Fort Worth, Texas. Terry Walker and Bill Price. Walker and Price had an outstanding first half. They led the defensive statistics for Air Force. Those are the two linebackers, now, Walker and Price. One's a junior, one's a sophomore. Price the sophomore. They played very well, as you said, Jim, all throughout the first half. Dave McCarthy now in the, the slot back for the Rainbows, replacing Lopati. Second down and nine from the Air Force, 44. And Moulton is McArthur. They throw. It is off of Mahuka. Mahuka was isolated that time on Pat Algram and had a few steps. Uh, he was in good position, ball thrown right there in his hands. Had he caught it, he would have been on a dead run. They would have turned up field. He would have picked up a bunch. He was a step in front of Algren. Good call by the coaching staff. They found that place on the field that was open. So that brings up third down and third down conversions in the first half. Both teams were three of eight. Out of the huddle they come. Three wide receivers set up to the right side. Mahuka, MacArthur, and Con Smith. Roscoe is to the left. Third down and nine. Ball is given up the middle to Fakaba. First inside the 40 all the way to the 37-yard line. Ekoti is short of the first down by two yards. That will bring up fourth down. Oh, we see a very long field goal here. Oh, they go for it on fourth and two. Jones looking to the sidelines. They're going for it. Here comes Chris Gaskell, number 88. A wide receiver into the game. Gaskell replaces Larry Con smith Fourth down, fourth and two and a half. Mahoka and MacArthur in the slot. A Cody Fakaba keeping the ball as Jones pitches back. Oh, MacArthur will not get there. Rather, Mahoka will not get there. Air Force played that beautifully. 
They're coming into the short side of the field. They had three white shirts waiting for Mahuka to take the pitch and two guys on Jones. They overplayed that beautifully. Finally, Randall Gladney comes up to the tackle. Here you see it. Warren comes down the line. He's going to be covered, and there it is right there. Led by Gladney, you got four guys on the tackle. Nowhere to go. So first down Air Force. They're able to rise to the occasion on that fourth down gamble by the Rainbows. Smith, Booker, and Roberson in the wishbone behind the quarterback Dallas. This is Smith. Smith still going to all the, all the way to midfield. Brian Belcher finally wrestles him down at midfield. All right, take a look at the first half possessions by Air Force. You can see in the beginning they didn't have the best field position. Then later on they had the benefit of a couple of uh, nice, nice possessions. They got one touchdown and one little bit of a loss right there with the blue showing. And now for a first down by Smith on one play. Kraus to the far side. Air Force trails 13 to 7. They have the ball just inside Rainbow Territory. Dallas turns, keeps, coming to the near side. Dallas to the 45, bumped out of bounds. Briggs coming up from the secondary. Get on the play of close to five yards. So that fourth down gamble coming up quite short by the Rainbows. In fact, they lost yardage on the play. That has given life to Air Force. Well, I'm slowly eating my words in the opening part of this broadcast tonight about this much maligned defense for the Air Force Academy because they've been playing well and rising to the occasion when they've had to. Santa's flanked to the left, picked up by McLeod. The ball is kept by Dallas, has running room, fumbles the ball, Rainbows have it, I believe. Still fighting for it. We'll see. That ball bounced around. It seemed as if a green shirt was on it first, then it squirted out again. Air Force will maintain possession. It turns into a game. Oh, the Rainbows had to... The first shot at it, I believe it was Directo. Well, we'll take a look at it, Jimmy. I think you're absolutely right. The ball comes out. He's going to turn up inside. Tressler causes the fumble. It looks like Directo's on top of it, but then somehow the ball skirts around. You got New Wano Kalia there. The ball just comes out. McLeod's in there. Colson's in there. Amaeva. Somehow. Roberson came up with it for the Air Force. Third down and one for the Academy. Smith. First down inside the 40 to the 39, I believe. We'll see where they mark it. I believe he has enough for the first down, and he does. Oh, Andy Smith, senior now. Just as we've said all tonight, homegrown park out of Colorado Springs. Always, always wondered about something. Smith from Colorado Springs, and also Roberson from Colorado Springs. I wonder if they let him go home for lunch. <laughs> I doubt it. He just went over the 1,000 yard mark. And that's uh, terrific for that young man playing in this his senior year, now his final half of football. First down, Booker, big hole, 35, all the way to the 31-yard line. <laughs> New one Kalia, number 94 there to make the stop. Some extra hitting going on between Kevin Bell and uh, Jose Amalo. Reverse pivot now, they're just blocking up in front. Booker just getting the ball. Good blocking by the Air Force offensive line on that right side. Booker, another senior playing out there tonight, running real hard. He's only had four rushes tonight. There you see it on the graphic. Not a whole lot of yardage, but I think the way the Air Force Academy's come out here in the third quarter, Jimmy, they're fired up. Oh, they are. And the Rainbows, I believe, have called a timeout. Rainbows have called a timeout. Only two now in the second half. 10.09 left, third quarter. And there you see the score. Left to play in the third quarter here at Aloha Stadium. Jim Leahy along with Rick Langiotti. Rainbows lead 13 to 7 over the Air Force Academy with the Falcons. Definitely moving. They have the ball at the 31 yard line of the Rainbows. Second down and two. Dallas, 38 yards rushing now for D. Dallas and one for six in passing. But that one pass, a 36 yard touchdown strike to Cochran. Great Cochran. Well, they have a real nice drive going here, and this drive started when they were able to stop Hawaii on a fourth down conversion, and it was the first time they had missed in 12 previous tries this year on fourth down. That time they did, it was a little bit like getting a turnover, and now they have it going for them. Second down and two. Dallas keeping, looking, and is wedged to the turf. Augie Apelo, number 91. David Maeva, number 31. Able to stop him short of the 30-yard line, and that will bring up third down and a yard. Third down, maybe a little longer than a yard. Sen comes out, cross goes in with the play. So Andy 
Andy Smith, the fullback, in that wishbone. Smith, Roberson, and Booker. Third and one. Kept by Dallas. Pitches back. Roberson fumbles. And out of bounds he goes. Colson there to aid him out of bounds. Well, this is a big play for Hawaii now because the ball takes the great bounce. Belcher putting the pressure on from the outside and in such a way that he has to get it out there. And as he tries to go for Roberson, the ball just bounces every which way. Brings up fourth at about seven. And I think uh, they're out of field goal range, Jim. They're going to go for it on fourth down. And they're out of field goal range. It's an interesting um, third quarter. We are now three for nine and third down conversions for the game. Cochran to the far side, picked up by McLeod. Dallas, back to pass. Lux throws, Smith. The pass is thrown wide. Andy Smith could not get to it. And so they trade off. The Rainbows do not make it on a fourth down gamble, but neither does Air Force. Well, I'm going to say something that sounds harsh. It's very critical for me. Unusual. Unusual? Both teams didn't look very good on fourth down plays. That's all. They just don't look. That was right there. A little bit disappointed. The head goes down. I mean, that, that was just, you know, and I admire the effort for both teams for that matter. We started out this third quarter by saying this half belongs to the one who wants it most, and both teams demonstrating that. Now Hawaii gets real good field position to start this. Let's see if they can take advantage of that same psychology and treat that fourth down like a turnover. First and 10 from the 36-yard line. Keeping the ball is Jones. Nothing on the left. Now throws over the middle. Crossing pattern. Interference? No. They say incomplete. Algram covering on the play. Covering Dane MacArthur. Ball thrown hard but wide. Got the coverage. Pretty good defense by the Air Force that time. Algram out of Houston, Texas, number 28. A senior. Playing in his 11th game. Came into the game with 35 tackles. And uh, has one interception. That interception, a 40-yard touchdown return. Those Second the, down and 10. The Bulls don't want to do now is turn the ball over because Air Force is very opportunistic and they can make some things happen. Warren's got to get the offense going for Hawaii. Leonard Lau to the far side, slotted inside of Lau, MacArthur. And then Amani Davis, back to pass Jones. Looking, Lau oh, has all day, now throws. Complete, Roscoe, 35-yard line. Good when in doubt, go to Roscoe. Good looking play. You're absolutely right. Good looking play. Great protection by the offensive line. Warren dropped back, set up. He waits for Crisco to make the move in the out pattern. And once again, he beats Gary Kilmer, who's been playing off of him. The ball thrown nicely that time. Chris with the real big soft hands just takes it in, steps out of bounds, but not before he picks up the big first down inside the 35. First and 10 for the Rainbows. Lau. And Lopati slotted to the far side. And on the wing to the right is Amani Davis. Ball is given up the middle to Hey Cody Fakaba as he's able to spin and back his way to the 30 yard line. Gain of the play of close to four yards. I think Fakaba is the key to the offense for Hawaii, Jim. And Fakaba, if the Hawaii team can get the fullback into the game, we've seen Hey Cody and Billy Stevens both trying to break something open. But the Air Force has been really stymieing that fullback position. If he could break it, that could really start to open up things for Hawaii. Second down, about five and a half. Ball just inside the 30-yard line. Jones keeps, tries to go up the middle himself. Doesn't materialize. He's pinched to the turf. Number 81, Lane Green. Number 75, Tom Kafka. Well, Kafka, a big defensive tackle. Just came right down on him along with Bean. Defensive end. And another third down play. Big third down play. Roscoe to the left, Leonard Lau, Junior Lopati, and Amani Davis to the right. Line of scrimmage, the 28-yard line of Air Force. Ball is given up the middle to Fakaba. Inside the 25 to the 23, that should be enough for a first down. Right up the middle, Terry Walker holding on. Good power football that time. As we take a look at it right here, the Air Force is going to play it back in the zone. You see the center was just taking out the nose guard nicely. They trap outside, and Cody hits it up inside with good quickness. They pick up the first down. Good conversion by Hawaii. So now the yards will get tough. The ball inside the 25-yard line at the 23. Leonard Lau, number 85, flanked to the right. Roscoe to the left. They come out. The two slot backs are Davis and Lopati. Acaba, the single setback. It is Fakaba fumble. Air Force has it. 
A turnover, a costly turnover for the Rainbow. Mark Lyons comes up with the fumble recovery. First down, Air Force. The Bows were just going straight ahead. We'll take a look at it. Good shot here. They're just base blocking. Everybody's straight. They're going to hand the ball off to Hey Cody. Somehow it doesn't get in there. Ball comes up, and Mark Lyons, the linebacker, very alertly falls on it. Big turnover as Hawaii had the drive going. The Air Force would have none of it. Lions with the fumble recovery. Double Falcon. Again, thwart the Rainbows. Deep in their own territory. And it is first and ten for Air Force. The ball just short of the 23-yard line. Out of the huddle they come. And a new quarterback in for Air Force. That's McDowell. The ball is uh, given. And then a big pileup. Joe Sayumalo in. Lance McDowell has come in. He is three for seven in uh, passing 62 yards. One touchdown. And this is a surprise. We wonder if Dallas is hurt. Well, I'm looking for Dallas on the sideline, Jim, as you've been saying that. I don't see him down there. I don't believe he's hurt either. I don't see him. Keep looking to find out where he went. McDowell is a junior out of Shreveport, Louisiana. Second down and 10. McDowell keeping, pitches back, with the ball is Roberson, 30. Roberson very close to the first down, being chased down by the Rainbow defender. And Dallas standing on the sideline. This is, this is very unusual. Now you see Dallas passing. At one completion, of course, for the touchdown. And Dallas standing on the sideline. I mean, this is a complete surprise. So Lance McDowell, who has carried the ball coming into this game only 18 times, is at quarterback on third and one. Smith, first down and more, out over the 35 to the 36-yard line. Joaquin Barnett, who is now into the game at linebacker for the Rainbows. Replacing for the moment David Maeva, the leading tackler. I'll say one thing about McDowell early on with just a couple of snaps of the ball. He may not have played a whole lot this year, but he looks like he has. He's just real game out there. Got the good quick feet bouncing around. And that time after he handed the ball off, he threw a nice open field block. First down for Air Force at their own 36-yard line. Roberson, Booker, Smith. Keeping the ball is McDowell. McDowell to the 40. Spins to the 41. The Wendell's covering him up there, just short of the 42. So McDowell gets his chance, gets into the game. He's a feisty little guy, look at him. I don't mean the word little either by uh, being a little bit negative here. Uh, as he comes out here now, he's real determined. He's gonna see the seam, he's gonna keep it up inside. He's not gonna go down, even though Robinson gets the good hand on him, he's gonna turn and spin and keep the legs going. He's 5'8", 166 pounds, well, it's not really big. Not for division point football, not, so. Not big at all. I Rouse. give credit. Rouse to the far side. Greg Johnson now in the wishbone for the Air Force. Second down and four. Ball is kept by McDowell. Has the first down, the 50, the 45, the 40. What a run, 30, 40 yard line of the Rainbow. Oh, I tell you, this is when a head coach begins to look like a bit of a magician. All of a sudden, McDowell, we've been talking D. Dallas, D. Dallas, you see him there, he's so fired up. Comes out, he's gonna run the option to his left. Now he's just going to keep the ball. He's going to keep it. He's going to tuck it up inside. 23 yards on the pickup, but he breaks tackles. He makes things happen. He just keeps his feet going. I'll tell you, what a fired up little quarterback. What a great decision by Fisher DeBerry to bring him into the ball game. Well, the Air Force going down the runway now, and all jets are burning. <laughs> and right now, McDowell is the pilot. Gives it to Booker. He finds a hole. 30, 25, leaps to the 20, and keeps going to the 17-yard line. Odom is down upfield, getting up, he's still down on his stomach. We'll see what a nice run by the Air Force that time. Yep, Albert Booker, the senior, again playing his last second half. We watch Odom getting up slowly. Good blocking up front by Air Force. McDowell gives him a pat on the rump. He's that Mike kind of guy. I like this kind of guy right here. McDowell, real fight up. This team is coming. He just sort of got him going. Hands the ball off to Booker. He gets the blocking up off tackle. A little misdirection. Now he's going to go. He's going to hurdle people. He's going to keep his legs going. He won't go down. Look at that effort. Nice so the, job. The Air Force trying to turn the rainbow fumble into a score and capture the lead. The ball inside the 20 at the rainbow 18. This is Johnson. He is to the 16. 
4-23 left to play in the third period. 13 for the Rainbow, 7 for Air Force. Rainbow's trying to put in their only defense here. Be very stalwart. As you like to say, this is where the yards get tough, and this is where Hawaii's really going to have to rally. As we get into the four-minute mark of this third quarter here, the defense has really got to toughen up. This Air Force Academy has just come to life. They're exploding. Second down, the ball at the 16-yard line. Second down and eight for the Air Force. McDowell. McDowell gives it up the middle to Smith. Quickly, he is among the green shirts. As he knows that the ball inside the 15 to the 13-yard line, that will bring up a big third down play. Smith, 13 rushes, 46 yards. He's now over with that run, over the 50-yard mark. Third down and five. Ball at the 13. Smith, Johnson, and Roberson in the wishbone. McDonald keeps it. Trying to get to the outside. He's hit and dropped at the 16-yard line. Nuu Wano Kalea, number 94. Well, McDowell tried to make it happen. He was going, but the Bows would have none of it. They came off the ball like they wanted to make this kind of play. As we watch Tressler on the blitz, they're just going to come. It's going to play pressure defense. Tressler inside. He makes the good move, but McDowell breaks the tackle. But now Kalea just on a dead run from the inside linebacker. Situation just comes over and makes the tackle. So the Rainbow stiffen. The ball is resting just inside the 15. The tee is placed down just short. We'll call it a 22, 32 yard field goal. Angle from the left. Steve Scarborough. And Yarborough hits it. This one is no good. Off to the left side. 2.28 left. Third period. It remains 13 to 7 in favor of the Rainbow. 228 left in the third period from Aloha Stadium, 13 to 7. As you look at Lance McDowell out McDow of Shreveport, Louisiana. He's got big hands. Well, he'd be 5'8, but he's got some big hands. Actually, that's a very little phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to give a quarterback confidence. First down for the Rainbows at their own 20 yard line. Jones with that spinning move, and he has been in trouble. Once he starts to spin, that has not yielded anything for the Rainbows tonight. And Ken Gibadlo there to make the stop of the Air Force. This is becoming a real hard-fought football game. 2:09 remaining in the third period. 13 to seven in favor of the Rainbows. Jones, 12 for 21, 193 yards, one touchdown. He's been sacked three times, and he's rushed for only two yards tonight. Well, I think a lot of credit has to be given to the Air Force defense thus far in the ball game. They've really come to play in this, this season finale. They're performing very, very well. Second down and 11. Jones to throw. Throws over the middle. Wide open and a completion to Junior Lopati. 40, 45. Lopati made the right move. And when he caught that ball, he had running room. Gary Kilmer made the start. Nice looking play all the way around as Warren signals to his offensive line. They did a good job. Jones tonight, when he's throwing, has been throwing very hard. And this time here, we see a good example of it. He waits for Junior to cross over the middle. He leads him perfectly. Junior catches it on the dead run. And then is able to turn and get upfield. Finally, Kilmer comes over to make the tackle. But a big play by Hawaii's offense, led by Warren Jones. First down for the Rainbows at the 46-yard line. Their own 46, Wasco and Leonard Lau are now the wide receivers. Mahuka and Lopati in the slot. Ball is given up the middle to Hay Cody Fakaba, the 50. The 46-yard line. Good gain on the play of close to eight yards. Second down and two. Pat McNellis, the nose guard, and Randall Gladney, the linebacker on the stop of the Air Force. So the Rainbows come back. 124 left, third period. Well, they really need to make something happen because I think any of them over there could see that McDowell has come out and fired up that offense for Air Force. This offense, Hawaii's offense, needs to make something happen in the ball game as it hangs in the balance 13 to seven at this point. Chris Gaskell is to the right and Roscoe to the left. Mahuka and MacArthur in the slot. That spinning move again, the ball is handed off to Fakaba and Fakaba is stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Bill Price there for the Air Force. Price, Boy, again. Price and Walker have really done the job. Then when you throw in Gladney and Gabablo and Kafka and McNellis and Lyons, they have given a very solid performance tonight. 
This is a defense that has given up an awful lot of yardage this year. This is a defense that was not ranked very highly coming into this ball game. And all of those players I mentioned will be back. Third down, another third down conversion attempt for the Rainbow. Jones throws, complete 40-yard line, MacArthur. First down for the Bows. I think they're going to signal incomplete, Jim. Did they signal incomplete? I thought he had it. Well, let's take a look at it. Great having a replay camera here. The ball comes in, ball well, is out. He didn't. Arthur doesn't have it. Good call. Good so now. Call by the official. Now. Do they gamble again? Well, you know, I said earlier that Air Force had had four, 12 fourth down conversions effectively used against them. Hawaii not going to do it. Hawaii's going to punt the ball. Alu comes into the game. I doubt if we'll see our second fake punt, but who knows? Well, Briggs is back there. Briggs had a 23-yard direct snap on fourth down. Krause is deep for the Air Force. Alou standing at the 40-yard line, waiting for the snap by Augie Apelu. I think you play field position. You try to punt him, keep him down deep. Krause, ball lands at the 15-yard line, takes an Air Force bounce, and Theo Adams downs it at the 19. First down for the Air Force. Eight seconds left, third period will be back. Eight seconds left, and D. Dallas, who has been pulled from the game by head coach of the Air Force uh, Academy, Fisher DeBerry, and now running uh, the offense is Lance McDowell. Keep in mind that Air Force is fighting for at least a 500 season tonight. Their record currently is five and six. Andy Smith with the ball up to the 25-yard line from the line of scrimmage, the 19. Alan Smith and Dana Directo there to make the stop, and that's the end of the third period. So when we come back, it'll be four between these two teams in what has turned out to be a hard-fought football game. Hawaii leads by six. We begin the fourth quarter. Rainbows lead 13 to seven. Here comes Air Force. Cochran is to the right side, watched by McLeod. McDowell, the quarterback, in place of Dowis. Gives the ball uh, to number 21, Albert Booker, out over the 30, and Booker to the 32-yard line. Now, the Air Force uh, team upset about something, perhaps a face mask. I'll tell you, that play off tackle, McLeod smiling over there, a little blood in his teeth. Boy, McLeod's into the, I mean, Colson, rather, he's into the ball game. I'm sorry. Colson's into the ball game. He's smiling, got blood coming out of his teeth. He just hit somebody head on. Team's yelling and screaming at him. He's trying to get the oh, the face open. mask. Yes. That's what they want. A little, little face mask there. Not yeah. a little. That was See, a lot. He put his hand. He knew he got away with it. That's what he was smiling about. He's like one of those wrestlers. Uh, Pulls something out of his trunks. Ball is given up the middle to Andy Smith. And Smith to the 35-yard line. Line uh, of scrimmage of 32. That was a first down for Air Force. Both teams have cranked it up a bit here in the first two plays of this fourth quarter. Game in the balance. Andy Smith, the senior fullback, running hard that time, and you can hear the popping up here. As you said earlier, Jim, this game is hard fought. They are really going at it now. Second down for Air Force, second and seven. Ball at the 35. Changing the call at the line of scrimmage, McDowell. Rainbow splits, McDowell runs away from the blitz, but not Joaquin Barnett. Oh, Joaquin. Not especially known for his lateral movement, but boy, he never want to run straight at him. That time showed some great quickness going to his left. He was just having none of it. The balls are going to cover the blitz. There goes Odom to the inside. Barnett comes down the line of scrimmage. He reads it all the way as he should and takes on the quarterback. Great play by Barnett from the inside out position at the inside linebacker position. Third down and 11 now for Air Force. Line of scrimmage just over the 31-yard line. Cochran to the near side. Smith, Booker, and Johnson in the wishbone. McDowell gives the ball up the middle to Smith. He goes nowhere. That's a real good defensive series for Hawaii. Three real good defensive plays back to back, forcing the punt. The Sayomala gets a little pat, pat there by Kaulia. Good defense by Hawaii. 13 4 left to play in the game. Chris Blazy in to do the punting and Walter breaks back inside the 40 at the 38 yard line. Fourth down. Rainbows have 10 men on the line of scrimmage and they almost block it 
And will we have a penalty? We will. Running into the punter was Robert Lamb. This is Briggs at the 40, and Briggs is gobbled up there at the 41. More flags at this end of the floor. More flags, 33-yard punt, but I really would like to see that interference on the kicker again because it appeared as if Lamb went over the top of a block and was blocked in. We will see. We've got flags all over the place. I don't think there's one flag in any official's pocket down there. They're all out there. Here's Tom Robinson. Roughing the kicker. Against Hawaii. Clipping against Hawaii. Ooh. He's got a whole bunch of them here. So the question is... Uh, How many are they going to mark off? One or two? It's going to be one for sure with an automatic first down. But he signaled both. Does that mean he's going to mark off both? Now we take a look at it. Robinson's up in the air. Land's coming from the left side. No, he's not blocked into it. That's Land all the way going into the kicker. Okay, thank you for the replay. That answered that. I saw the white jersey, but from the angle we had, that angle, that was a better angle. You could see it. Land just coming into the kicker. Wagner's going nuts. He's saying somebody blocked him. It's George Lumpkin. We'll see. Personal foul roughing the kicker. And it's first down for the Air Force. Bob's saying that's not roughing. He's saying a few other things, too. But he's saying that's not roughing. From the angle we had on that replay, it looked as if Land did come into the kicker. Of course, the coaches are right there. They had really the best angle because Robert Land came from the left side at field position. But the Air Force will have a first down on the 47-yard line, their own 47. I can see the penalties and the yardage. It's a real tough break, too, because we just got done saying what a great series that was for Hawaii's defense. Roberson, Smith, and Booker in the wishbone. Keeping the ball is McDowell in trouble. They chase him down. Joaquin Barnett. Oh, Barnett and Sayamala, who was really coming from the backside, really didn't figure in the tackle, but the pressure, the pressure on this quarterback, good decisions by Rich Ellison. Now they got this young quarterback at the game, he's actually a junior, but he hasn't had a lot of game experience, and they're playing, let's pressure the quarterback, and Barnett is doing a great job of it. Loss on the play of three, second down and 13 for Air Force. Remember, at the conclusion of tonight's game, Rick and I will be selecting the GTE Hawaiian Tell Most Valuable Rainbow. Hawaiian Tell will present $100 to the General Scholarship Fund of the University of Hawaii in the name of the player who went beyond the call. Second and 13. Rainbows jump offside. Mark Odom makes contact. Oh, he wanted to blitz. Talk about pressure on the quarterback. A little, little too soon. A little bit too soon, but the thinking's there. They're going, oh, we're going to get this guy. We want to, we want to get him. We're going to get him. Yee, can't do that. Mark, he's into it too much right there. And McDowell, look at him clap. I tell you, they're going Good at ball. each other. Offside on the defense. Still second down. Okay, Tom. Second down and eight. I'll tell you, they're fired up, both teams. 11.41 to go here. Goes with a four-man front. They do not show blitz this time. The ball is given to Booker. Booker in the open. The 40. Booker may score. The 30. The 20. Chase down from Robertson from behind. McLeod also in on the tackle. But what a play by Air Force. Remember, we said Air Force has a penchant for big plays. And that was one of them. Well, no flag. So the play stands. Good little misdirection right now. You talk about the wishbone being relentless. Here it is. They come back with a little misdirection. Albert Booker, 37 yards, but at a very timely point in this ball game, as Booker shows his determination, he just won't go down. The ball is inside the 15-yard line, and all of a sudden, Air Force with a golden opportunity. They trail in this game, 13 to 7. Out of the huddle comes the Air Force. Greg Johnson now in the wishbone. Krause to the near side. Ball is kept by the quarterback, McDowell. Pitches back. This is Roberson, the 10. Out of bounds, he goes at the 9. Belted out by Walter Briggs. But Roberson able to get around the corner for a good gain of 5 yards. Pretty good open field, though, by Walter Briggs. He's coming off the block. He's able to play off it and keep it. He held Roberson actually only to the 5, 6 yards he picked up. Roberson looking to turn the corner. Might have got into the end zone. Briggs kept him from doing it. Defense! 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 
Here comes Air Force. The ball at the nine. Chris Howard, number 34, has gone into the wishbone. Howard Smith and Roberson. This is Roberson. The 10, the 5, the 4-yard line. And that could be a first down for Air Force. It could be Johnson. May not be Roberts, or maybe Johnson. And it is Johnson. It's Frank Johnson. Johnson. That is a first down also, Jim. First and goal. Good look at the Berry. Coach the Berry right there. First and goal to go for the Air Force. Great shot in the foul. Johnson. No game. In fact, he lost a yard, maybe two. Well, the Bows are blitzing. They're coming with everybody. Rich Ellison, the defensive coordinator for Hawaii, just said, hey, we're going to play pressure defense. They're coming down here in the goal line. There you see Maeva just tromping at the pit. He gets in there first. He gets Sayamalo over there. He gets Odom. They're all there. Robinson, Apelu, all of them. Good job by the defense. Second down and goal to go. 13 to 7 in favor of the Rainbows. Kraus is picked up by McLeod on the right side. Johnson, Smith, and now Booker in that wishbone. McDowell, the quarterback, turns, keeps it, fakes the pitch, gets back to the five. That's all. Mike Tressler there. My Ava there. You got it right there. Tressler with the key play. Coming up from the strong safety position, little Mike Tressler. Pound for pound, one of the toughest football players Hawaii has. And also Nu'uwano Kaulia, who has played an outstanding game for the Rainbows. Third down, and goal to go. Here comes Air Force. Smith, Johnson, and Booker in the West Brom now. Johnson, touchdown. It came right back up the middle, misdirection, good pocket up front. Johnson goes in, standing up. Four great great blocks by Jim Payne and David Palatke. Uh, you just took the words right out of my mouth, James. Great blocking up front. We take another look at it right up the middle. Looks like a little bit of straight base blocking. Isolation come up inside. The back leading. Johnson just exploding. Good block by Albert Booker. Keep in mind, Booker not all that big at 5'11", 188. The Air Force gets into the end zone. Game's tied right now. 9.30 left to play in the game. We're tied at 13 Yarborough and to give the Air Force the lead. And he does. 9.30 left. Fourth quarter. Far from over. Air Force 14. Hawaii 13. The Air Force has grabbed the lead. Four-yard touchdown run by Greg Johnson. That is his 16th rushing touchdown of the year. Yarbrough kicks the extra point. It is 14-13 Air Force. And they have the lead for the first time in this game. Yarbrough will kick off. Deep for the Rainbows is Larry Conn Smith. Clayton Mahuka and Junior Lopati about 10 yards in front. Another pop-up. The ball is gathered in at the 25-yard line. The 30. Out over the 30 to the 36-yard line is Leonard Lau, number 85. And the Rainbows have pretty good field position. I think very good field position. Now the only thing that becomes a factor is the clock at 9.27 left to go. And we have a penalty flag on the kickoff. Oh, I didn't see that. Way downfield on our near sideline. If I were the Rainbows right now with this field position at the 36, I'd decline it if Air Force were offside. I agree. Let's see if they even have the option to do so. Big discussion among the officials. They're all kind of huddled together. Legal, legal procedure against the Air Force. Clipping on the rainbows. That's why they huddle. Yeah. Now, did they offset on the kickoff? We have a re-kick. We'll see. Good shot of David Maeva right there. The near side. Still uh, discussing things. They're discussing things with Amosa Amosa. Here is uh, Tom Robinson. Illegal procedure. On the kickers, they are offside. Got clicking, clipping, 
against the receivers. Okay, the offset will re-kick. That was a long time to decide that. I kind of thought that's what they might do. It would be interesting to see if Yarborough pops it up again. Just that little bloop of a kickoff. 927, remember, a lot of these seniors would like to go out. You remember your last game perhaps more than any other. And therefore, it's not going to a bowl this season. Women's volleyball tonight, University of Hawaii, Rainbow Wahine has continued to have a tremendous season. They defeat USC tonight, and it takes them a while. It takes them four games, 15-5, 15-3, 13-15 USC, and then 15-2 Rainbow Wahine. Currently ranked third in the nation in women's intercollegiate volleyball and the defending national champions. 9.27 left to play in this game. 14 for Air Force, 13 for Hawaii. Rainbow's a little wary of how Yarborough's going to kick off. They have moved up a couple of notches, of course. And this is a line drive. Bounces to Junior Lopati on the 15. The 30. Oh, you can hear the crack up here. Well, they're hitting. They're really hitting down there, I'll tell you. With 920 left to go, the Bows have the ball, and I think, Jim, this is the time for the offense to do something. Not wait for the great high drama in the closing seconds. This drive right now for this offensive unit, very key, I think, in a number of different ways. Now, the Air Force did it against the Rainbows last year, winning 34-31. Yarborough kicking a 26-yard field goal to win it with eight seconds left. Rainbows trailed by one here. They also have the toe of Elam. We'll see. First and ten. Ball is given. No, kept by Jones. And he's able to turn the corner and gain yardage. Oh, he was in trouble. But he was able to ad-lib his way past Ken Gibadlo. And Gibadlo then reached out and tripped him up as he went over the 33-yard line and ended up with a sizable gain. Really, Second down, about six and a half. Really have to credit Warren on that because he was in a lot of trouble. Davis was covered. He was his pitch man, but Warren somehow got four yards in the play. Billy Stevens, a single setback. They overload uh, the right side, triple wide receivers to the right. Jones looking right. Com nope, dropped by Con Smith. Heard footsteps. Toth coming up behind him. I'm afraid you're right on that one. Warren looking over. The ball was thrown on the money. Larry was out there on the out pattern. You have a nice look of it right here. Coming back against the zone, step, steps, comes to the outside, balls right there. Ooh, you got to catch those. And the reaction of the quarterback, Jones. That's frustrating. But he's got to shake it off. Third down here. Roscoe to the far side. And Consmith to the near side. Lopati and Davis are the slapbacks. In motion is Junior Lopati. Rainbows need the first down. Throw it is complete to Amani Davis. He's short of the first down, I believe. Real good defense that time, I think, by Algren. Pat Algren comes up, makes a nice open field tackle on Amani Davis. They'll bring up fourth and short. The Bulls are going to punt the ball. We'll take a look at it. Warren throws in the grasp. Amani has it, but Algren comes up and makes the good open field tackle. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Just takes us, gives up his whole body on the tackle, and he stops Davis short of the first down. And the crowd uh, reacting to the placement uh, by the officials, but he definitely was short of the first down. Yeah. Krause is deep for Air Force, and Alou in the punt. Air Force looking at Briggs, of course. Waiting for the snap by Augie Apelu. And Alou will punt it. Oh, good hang time. Krause lets it bounce, and it will go out of bounds inside the 10. Another excellent punt by Kyle Alou. 7.41 left to play in the game. Air Force, 14, Hawaii 13. 43,942 tickets were sold to tonight's game between Air Force and Hawaii here at Aloha Stadium. 7.41 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Here comes Air Force. McDowell at quarterback. First and ten at the seven. McDowell keeping to the ten. Luano Kaliev fights off the block by Robertson to come in and make the stop for the Rainbows. Gain on the play of close to three yards. We'll see where they give him the forward progress. 
That will bring up second down. What the Rainbows cannot afford is for Air Force with a relentless wishbone to start putting together first downs and eating up the clock. One of the Rainbows did not get up, and it could be Mark Odom. Mark has been really shaky the last couple of weeks. He's had some kind of injury. And he you know, had some difficulty last week getting up late and then again tonight earlier. And now, there you see the young sophomore linebacker. And Jim, actually, McDowell now, I think they placed the ball down. They only give him about one yard on the game. I think his knee touched as he was cutting up field. So for all purposes, that's not a bad defensive play by Hawaii, only giving up one on first down situation. The name of the game now is clock and field position. Hawaii's got to be able to, if they're going to have a chance to win this, stop the Air Force from, from maintaining possession, force them to punt deep so they can get the ball back and then see what they can do with it with the strong leg of Jason Elam. 7.22 left to play, and of course, concern now for Mark Odom, who has played such a steady year for the Rainbows here in 1988. Odom in the middle along with... Um, my Eva. There you see an interesting graphic. You talk about the tremendous tradition at the Air Force Academy. Second from 78 to 88, 38 wins, 27 losses. And Wyoming has uh, more wins, and so does Hawaii. They're only a member of the WAC since 79. In fact, I remember when they came into the WAC. Do you? Of course you do. Yes. <laughs> we were there. <laughs> we were there. <laughs> oh, concern for Mark. Hope he's okay. Had a pretty good ball game tonight. We've seen him around the football. By the way, Arlu got off a 47-yard punt to put Air Force in this situation down deep. Joaquin Barnett, number 53, has come in to take the place of Mark Odom. Barnett and Maeva, the inside linebackers now for the Rainbow. Smith, Roberson, and Booker in the wishbone. It is Booker out over the 10. Short of the first down. That will bring up third down. They have to go to the 17-yard line for the first down. Well, you know, I hate it when announcers get into this kind of trite conversation, but here it comes. Big third down play right here. We've, we've seen them tonight. Both yeah. teams have really been tested on third down conversion. Yep, and this is a and big even, And even fourth down conversion. You got that right. Big one right here. 6.41 to go in the game. Third down and five. They have to go to the 17. Booker. First down and more. Boy, and more almost became a whole lot more if Mike Trussell didn't hustle down because the only other guy that had a shot at him was Gavin Robinson from across the field. The Air Force converting nicely here. They get the good block. Halea gets blocked out. Booker turns it up inside. Keeps going. Mike comes over to help make the tackle. Joaquin Barnett also there on one of the Air Force players down. I think it might be a Hawaii player, or, Jim. Yeah, you're right. That's Colson. One of the Hawaii players, I stand corrected. Colson is down just over the 20-yard line. They just came up at his side. Somebody put the good block on. But Air Force is doing what Hawaii cannot let them do, and that is get out of the shadow down deep and start stringing together first downs. The clock now has been able to shrink away to six minutes and 28 seconds left to play, 14-13. Well, with that third down play alone right there, Jim, they got themselves in excellent position, even if they don't make another first in punting the ball. They, they gave up a lot of real estate that time. Unless Hawaii's defense can force a turnover. So Colson now is up to a sitting position. Colson from Long Beach, California, out of Long Beach City College, junior college transfer, came into the game with 55 tackles, yeah. two interceptions. Still remember really early on the season up at Colorado State with that touchdown saving tackle, Mike Colson coming up out of the end zone and uh, sort of made his mark that day, I felt, really made his presence felt as far as his ability to hit. Danny Lewis has come into that defensive secondary for the Rainbows. And Colson slowly walking off, but under his own power, and we may see him back. Booker, Albert Booker of the Air Force, now 134 yards in rushing. 
And that last rush, the most important of the game, because Air Force continues to hold on to the ball. 6.28 left, 14, 13 Air Force. They have really throttled the rainbow offense here in the second half. Yes, they have. So and, and this young man has been inserted into the game. And he has risen to the occasion. You know, you hear stories. I mean, there were B movies, hundreds of them perhaps, made about quarterbacks sitting on the bench and then getting their chance. Well, what happened here tonight? Lance McDowell in place of D. Dallas. Johnson with the handoff, and he slips at the line of scrimmage. Maybe he slid forward for about a yard, that's all. Well, uh, good penetration as the clock keeps going by Hawaii defense. There was really nowhere to go, and Johnson tried to make a move as he saw the onslaught of green jerseys, and then as he did, he slipped and went to the turf. Clock becoming a factor inside the six-minute mark now. Augie Apello and Alan Smith leave. Dana Directo into the game along with Jose Amalo in that defensive line for the Rainbows. Second down and nine. The ball just over the 32-yard line for the Air Force. Andy Smith. Look out. Smith all the way to the 45-yard line of the Rainbows. Another first down for Air Force. Boy, they gambled right. Hawaii came with a blitz to the right side. They, from Hawaii's right, Air Force is left, and the Air Force goes with a quick dive up inside to the right with Smith, and he just hits the quick opener. We take a look at it now. You see the penetration. Hawaii on the wrong side. Air Force on the right side as Smith just kind of fights his way up field. He's so quick, he's ahead of the camera. He's just flying up there. The relentless twist ball. Finally paying off here in the fourth period. 5-16 left. First down for Air Force. They lead 14-13. Cross to the far side. McDowell. Here's the ball to Booker. Booker breaks one tackle. And then new one of Kaulia. Tressler is there. He got away from uh, Jose Omalo initially. The Rainbow's there to make the stop. From the 45, the ball is advanced to the 41. 443, clock ticking now. Hawaii's defense on second and six has got to find a way to stop this Air Force team. The Air Force on the other hand, Jim, playing very inspired again behind Lance McDowell. That offensive line for the Air Force really firing off the ball. And we saw Air Force do this last year. The Falcons doing what they have to do. Keeping the ball is McDowell. Pitches back, Booker, 40, 35, first down. Well, this is just good hard nose football going on down here. If you had a scrimmage situation going on in practice, as we watch Maeva come over, he called this a pride drill. All the way down, all the way down. Maeva putting a good shot on, but not before he picks up the first down. Both teams going at each other as the game hangs in the balance with slightly more than four minutes left to go. Comes a matter of was we answered, uh, started off the second half by saying who wants it more. That's really well, on the 13 line. seconds. Sen is now to the far side. The ball is inside the 33 yard line of the rainbow. Johnson, 30, 25. Colson riding in to the 22. And very close to the first down. And it is the rainbow defense now. Befuddled, unsure with every snap of the ball. It's the misdirection. The misdirection that time to Johnson. They got him going. A little counter, a little quick block, and they're fighting away up in the seam. There you see the clock park point up. But now, aided by the clock, it's also going to be field position. Air Force in field goal range. And, you can, take, and the Air Force actually in control of this game right now. This is called an intellectual exercise in a very physical game because the Air Force now has played mind games with the rainbow defense. And they've advanced the ball inside the 25 to the 22-yard line. That's enough for a first down. And they continue to keep the rainbows guessing. It's great discipline with this offense. Johnson is in that wishbone. Keeping the ball is McDowell. Johnson trails. McDowell fakes the pitch inside the 20, the 10, the five-yard line. McDowell, Lance McDowell. What a great run. That young man right there has had frustrating moments this season. He just removed an awful lot of them right there. You see him come back with his eyes. He's having a good time down there. 
He comes out, and this is all Lance McDowell. He's going to read the option. He wants it. Even a little for dramatic purposes, fake it, but he was going to keep it. And then he goes, he breaks the tackle, he slips, he keeps his legs going. He wants the end zone, he keeps going. Finally, Briggs gets him out of bounds. But what a determined effort by the young junior quarterback, Lance McDowell, tonight. And the clock ticks away to three minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the game. And Air Force who had this ball at their own seven-yard line. Now has the ball at the rainbow five. Fumble. Long has it. He's going to run. He may score. The 50. The 40. This is incredible. This is marvelous. Rainbows take back the lead. over the 30, out to the 35. First down for Air Force, two minutes and 56 seconds. Remember, Air Force has that penchant for the big play. They also have a stable of running backs in that wishbone. Albert Booker, Andy Smith, Craig Johnson, also Roberson, Rodney Lewis. Well, that was a 28-yard return. The ball was taken on the seven as we watched McDowell go out there to go to work. The ball is now on the 35, and Air Force has all three timeouts remaining. Another heart-pounding finish to an Air Force Hawaii game. Remember last year, last eight seconds, Air Force goes down the field to win it. Well, they have a chance to do it again. But Two minutes, 56 seconds. The but they, here, they need the touchdown. They need the touchdown. First down from the 35. Ball is given to Booker. Over the 35, down at the 38. Mark Odom, who has returned to the lineup. Oh, there are so many stories to this game. Personal stories, players coming back from injury having been aided off the field. And Odom is one of those stories. He is back. And there's a guy who would love to get the football back, because if he does, that would mean Hawaii would win Can the defense hold. Ball in progress to the 39. Second down. Keeping the ball is McDowell. McDowell pitches back. Johnson 
Odom hits him. Johnson still on his feet. Down he goes at the 40. Great defense. Fans really rising to the occasion. Hawaii strung it out. Players played off of blocks. Odom, I think, had the real good collision on the far sideline. But Hawaii just played that beautifully as we take another look at it. This time it was McDowell. And again, you notice that Johnson is the trailer here. And he goes to Johnson. Now here comes Odom, number 56. Comes up and makes the hit. And then tackle. And down goes Johnson at the 40-yard line. 2.15 left. 19-14 Hawaii. University of Hawaii basketball coach Wiley Wallace undefeated in 1988. I mean, his team is right up there among the leaders in the nation. Plays Texas tomorrow night for the championship of the tip-off tournament. Good to see Wiley here tonight. Third down. Third down, Air Force. Ball is kept by McDowell. Being chased. He is short. Fourth down. They run the option into the short side of the field. Hawaii, as if they knew what was going to be called, had that play perfectly covered as they almost seemed to overplay it. There was really nowhere for McDowell to go. He made zero yardage on the play. Air Force has rushed for over 360 yards, unofficially 368 yards. They have completed one pass, and that was a 36-yard touchdown. Fourth down, the game in the balance. 141 left. In motion is Booker. McDowell, quarterback sneak. Does he get the first down? I believe he's a yard short. He's the short. Rainbows will take over. He's short by about at least a yard, Jim. Very alert play by McDowell, though, to his credit. He called his own number on the quick draw. You can hear the fans now. It's short. Hawaii will take over. Be first and 10 on their own 44 with 132 left in the ball game. The Air Force has two timeouts. They can stop the clock twice. So how this game has turned around, I mean, that will be what is reported in the periodicals tomorrow and in the television news shows all throughout the week, how fast this game turned around on a bump and a little flip of the football. 132 left. Rainbows have that much between their eighth win. They have not had eight wins since uh, 1981. They come out on the power eye. Quarterback sneak Warren Jones is immediately covered. 128 left. And Air Force will use up one of their two timeouts. 19-14 in favor of the Rainbows over Air Force will be back. A minute 27, Lance McDowell who played so well tonight, so high, just a high level of play, makes one mistake. The Rainbows lead 19-14, second down and 10, the ball at the 44 of the Air Force. Ball is given to Cody for Cobb, and he's hit immediately by Bill Price. Again, Bill Price. Price has played real well. You got 123 left, you can see the clock right there. Air Force now with no timeouts left. Hawaii with a third and 10 situation will not be able to keep the ball the entire minute 23. What is so incredible about this game is that Air Force had it. Air Force had this game in control. They were on the five yard line. They put together a, a tremendous, relentless drive. They had the, they were able to string together the first downs. And when we said that one team was playing mind games with another, Air Force certainly had control. It was like a chess master all of a sudden zeroing in on checkmate. And it turns around. It completely turns around. And, and Air Force has got to be stunned by that one play. 95-yard, I guess, a, a fumble return. This play will uh, bother Lance McDowell for a long time. Wow. The hit by Joaquin Barnett and then Robert Lamb. To his credit, you know, McDowell was just blitzed by Joaquin Barnett as he was trying to make the exchange with his fullback. The ball goes in the air. And Robert Lamb right now will live that play the rest of his life. Nobody will ever take it away from him. I also feel that Joaquin Barnett had an awful lot to do with making it happen. But nonetheless, number 20, Mr. Land, Robert Land, who ironically enough was called for roughing the kicker. He was the one that was called on, which enabled the Air Force to get that drive going. It gave him the momentum which gave him the go-ahead touchdown, ends up being a big hero. It was Robert Lynn on roughing the punter. 
Third down and 11 for the Ringos. 123 left. The Air Force now using their final timeout. The ball is uh, kept by Jones, rolling to the near side. And Jones goes down at the 44. That will bring a fourth down. And the clock begins to tick away. One minute, 10 seconds. Well, Hawaii's going to have to punt it away. So Air Force is not through on the evening. We will see Lance McDowell once again. I'm not quite sure on how to figure exactly how much time will be left on the clock. I suspect Hawaii will let this run down, take the penalty, and then kick it as we look at Kyle Alou on the far sideline. We will see where the clock actually stops. Should the Rainbows go on to win this, and it appears that they are right now the team that's in control, it will be the first loss by Fisher to Berry. Against the Rainbows, he is 4-0. and all. In fact, all of the seniors on this Air Force team have never lost to the Rainbows. Well, there you have it. The clock is stopped. 27 seconds left. So the punting team will come on for the Rainbows. They will assess a five-yard penalty. And Kyle Lalu will await the snap from Augie Apelu. And punted the word. The key is in the execution. Hawaii still has to punt the ball and get it downfield as the team comes on out. Last week against Wyoming, remember, not to bring up negative things, but uh, Alou had his punt block. Well, Hawaii's got their defense out there now on the punting team going downfield. They're not going to take any chances. Robert Krause is deep for Air Force. 27 seconds left to play in the game. And Alou will punt. Standing on his own 38-yard line, so he'll take a couple of steps, probably punt it from the 41. Now he moves up. Anything can happen. We have seen that in this football game, and it is not over. And it's only out of respect for Air Force that you say that. And they have earned that in this game. And they've heard they have earned it under Fisher DeBerry, the way yes. that they have they have played. They remember Air Force goes in, and the other team, other uh, Division One team, certainly have uh, the weight advantage. And they have to battle that all the time, but they they do it by running the wishbone so consistently that they're always around at the end. Well, they're changing the clock back, and uh, I'm kind of glad we didn't try to guess before as to where it was going to stop, because we're going to watch it again. It's now ticking down. There's the clock guy. Third time this year he's made the game. I tell you, this guy's been in the game more times this year. You <laughs> got 29. They had two more on. There's uh, fans of Kalani Kelelehiki this year. He has uh, played a backup role at center behind Amosa Amosa. 29 seconds. Alou waiting for the snap from center. Ten men on the line of scrimmage. Air Force trying to block it. There's the punt. Good hang time. Calling for the fair catch is Robert Klaus. And he takes it on the eight-yard line. 22 seconds left. Air Force will have the ball at their own eight. Well, and a chance. And a chance, but I have to tell you, I think that's real clutch by Kyle Alou. It's 37 yards, which isn't a whole lot, but he had the good touch on the ball, and he gets it down inside the 10. Keep in mind, if Air Force were to score, they don't have to do anything else but do that. Hawaii is only up by five. The two-point conversion failed. A touchdown is all it would take in 22 seconds. Do not go away. Here comes Air Force Conto to the far side, Sen to the near side. In motion is Roberson. McDowell rolling. Sets up, throws, incomplete. Falling down was Cochran out at about the 27-yard line. I will say one thing about McDowell that you should be aware of as far as passing. He threw two touchdown passes in last year's Freedom Bowl. He can pass as a quarterback, perhaps even better than Dallas, which might have led to why, after that fourth down play, which was the last we saw of D. Dallas, Fisher DeBerry yanked him, although he has not passed very much as he's come into the ball game. But he is probably the better passer of the two. 16 seconds left. Krause now and at one of the wide receivers. He is to the right. To the left is Cochran. Watched by Robert Lamb. In motion again, Roberson. They overload the left side. Rolling left is McDowell. Sayomalo chases them into the end zone. What a block by an Air Force offensive lineman to keep McDowell free. McDowell throws long up the middle. Rainbows 
underneath incomplete. Intended for Roberson, four rainbows behind him, and that's the game. That was a 22 second play for all of that scrambling. I lost sight of the clock and the Bulls win it 19 to 14. So the Rainbows win their eighth of the season. And they are eight and three going into the final game next week against Oregon. And for the first time in a long time, Air Force has a losing season. The first one under Fisher DeBerry. They finish 1988 at five and seven, three and five in the Western Athletic Conference. And the Rainbows have a conference winning season at five and three on the other side. 1914, the final. We'll be back.